Hey, what's poppin', man? You already know what time it is. Uh, sheesh. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 69. That freaky number right there, 69. I feel like every time I say it, it comes out like 69. I feel Whoa. childish because I laugh every time you say it. <laughs> 69, hey, the whole gang is in the building. Hey, I got some of the team back, y'all. I got yeah. some of the team. Hey, I'm about to say the names. Yeah. This is who is in the building, you feel me? Gio the Leo is here. Hey. Lante Bass God is here. Okay. My guy, Taz Boy Cannon Productions is here. Taz, hey. fi- fuck. <laughs> Cannon Boy Films is in the building. <laughs> Taz is here. <laughs> My God, Nick is here. Alexander the Block is here. Lex is in the building. What's up, sexy Lexi? Come on, man. Let's get this right, man. You feel me? Let's get this shit popping, man. You feel me? Let's get it. I got to shake that ass. Yeah, lady first. Yeah. I got a tip. I'll make sure I give you a tip, man. Lex is in the building. This sounds amazing. Yo. And of course, JS1, a supplier, is in the motherfucking building. My guy, Star is the people's choices in the building. You feel me? <laughs> thank you, love. Thank you, thank you, Stars, thank you. I just want you to notice how our announcement didn't follow a clap or applause of any kind. I mean, because I they gotta drink my head. Wait, tell me. Let's get this shit head. together, bro. <laughs> y'all niggas ain't about to come in here acting like y'all done did some shit. These niggas been here for like 70 something weeks. Yeah, they gonna get a fucking clap. I ain't see these niggas in how long? Yeah, they gonna get a clap. Damn. On that. I took a whole shower before I came here. Whoa, I right, let's clap it up for that. So, <laughs> like, thank God you took a shower. And so, then, uh, oh, what's the dog name? Lana. Lana, it's Lana. She's being good it's now. Going down. Now you want to call her? <laughs> hey. Say hey, Lana. Say hey. Come here. So yeah, uh, and Come here, I have two beautiful guests in the building. Is it just Le- like? It's just Lavon now. What? I'll ask you that later. Yeah. <laughs> And it's still Buffy the Beauty, or am I, if it's? It's still Buffy the Beauty. Okay, Buffy the Beauty, Levon is here. Uh, can we give it up for the ladies, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> thanks for coming. <laughs> thanks, thanks. So, fellas, um, it's been, we've been doing this damn thing. Man, I appreciate been, you guys, man. You guys have been up. doing it. Oh, bro, you've been here, you missed one week, bro. Come yeah, on, man. I was in town. I feel a jealousy. Nah, God damn. Going, I like, oh. Bro, I feel, it's like I can feel a jealousy. Yeah. Like, relax. Nah, like, I ain't no jealousy. I'm proud, bro. I proudly posted that shit. I say, because like, we did it. Even though you was yeah. here, your presence was here. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might not have been here physically, but your presence Definitely. was here. Yeah. So, you know, shit, we went viral on fucking, um, yo, we went viral on Twitter, right? I got yeah. a question, though. Because I ain't gonna lie, Alex called it. He was like, man, another viral clip? It was at like 40,000. I'm like, nah, viral is a, a, like a million. What y'all think viral is though? I, I think I think I'm, I think a million. No, I just be happy when it gets to I think a million 000. is definitely a million. 100,000 is really good. 100,000 is really good. Like 10,000 is good. But viral? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. But like, but viral. Yo, come on, get. I'm no. sorry, yo. <laughs> yo, because both of y'all, y'all. Are, like artists, performers, like so. Don't act like you shy away from the mic. And, and when I, I'm and when not I say the shy mic, from the mic. I mean the microphone, okay? Oh, I am not get that shy on camera, because. <laughs> okay, but viral. I feel like viral moments usually like hit a mill. Mill. Yeah. Okay. For sure. So, See, if I were for me, it's like twenty thousand, because. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from the bottom now we here type thing. Like, what? Like, shit, I'm gonna drink. But yeah, so what happened with my Bible? Um, basically, what's, what's going on is in the clip, um, Donnie P said, Shout um, out Donnie P. Shout out to Donnie P. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely about to go there next because it's a lot. Yo, this in, yo, the internet is a dangerous place, bro. It definitely mm-hmm. is. Like, bro, like the internet, like, it's a scary place, bro. People say some mean things. Mm-hmm. And it be the people that's like, it be the people critiquing you for something being mean, which don't even make sense, like a contradiction. It's like, you're saying that somebody is such and such or they like this and you are like being a bully though. So like mm-hmm. this tweet could go viral for you being a bully because you, yeah, that's corny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause like, right. whatever. Mm-hmm. But the internet is the internet. Fuck the internet. Thank God for yeah. the internet though. And like, I haven't even seen, um, I haven't even seen like a lot of the comments. Like I've seen a lot of niggas. I reposted one nigga. He called me a simp. He's like, this nigga a simp. <laughs> I, I reposted. Yeah, I've been a simp for like four episodes now. Yeah, so it's like one thing about me. I think. Um, but they watching. So. Nah, yeah. facts. Like, bro, I, I I think I learned this a, a long time ago, bro. Like, I'm not paying these comments. No fucking mind. Cause oh, that no, shit look, will yeah. have you going mm-hmm. crazy. But I say that to say, shout out to Donnie P because you know I know people handle things differently, right? Mm-hmm. And like, like. 
I don't ever want to wish nothing like nothing, yeah. nothing negative Anything energy like on nobody. Time. You feel yeah. me? Because like, but I know like niggas is wild. But she got a lot of people on her side though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying, but it's definitely a lot of people that's saying a lot of mean shit. So I definitely want to so say shout out. If I may ask, I'm still kind of in the, in the fog because I I mean I posted the stuff and I listened to all the clips, but I don't understand what's the, what's the, well, the problem. conversation. We were the cop with the problem. Well, first of all, the clip was it was. Was like thirty six seconds. Yeah. Yeah. The conversation was way more who, than that. Who got beef for the thirty no, second That's why I, it's not before fair. I even come or felt like I wanted to create an opinion, mm -hmm. I decided to watch the full yeah. like clip. You know what I'm first. saying? Just see. I mean, yeah. I mean, of course, and it was a funny way of it too. It wasn't. It wasn't even always serious at that time. We was really yeah. low key geeking in that moment. But later on, she did. I mean, say yeah. it was the right thing. So I, um, so what happened was I had brought up the uh, situation. I don't know if you guys heard of Denim Day. So Denim Day, um, can you pull that up for me, Alex? So Denim Day, basically what happened was, um, you know, a, a, a young lady was raped, um, but eventually the courts threw it threw it out because they were saying that because her jeans were so tight that she was asking for it. So I had brought that up on a pod, and she was like, nah, I feel you. She was like, in that case, yeah, like, that's not, you know what I'm saying? I just, I personally think she was just, because honestly, let's not get it fucked up. We can't act like what she said didn't have any validity at all. Mm. We can't act like that. Like let's not like that's ignorant as fuck to even because if that say was that. the case, women would be going in a job interviews any kind of way. If y'all not even just women, men like we would do. Yeah, we were saying we were. So we were, uh, so that's in that case. That's how I always was like. I mean, I see what she she's speaking on like what it really is. But then everybody got to take it deeper. Like, well, if I want to do this, I should be. We get that. But mm -hmm. in general, it's like, ladies, you know what the right thing to wear to your boyfriend mother house is. Let's be real. I think she mm -hmm. kind of just said it wrong in yeah. the clips. So I yeah. think people so. People took it a different way unless they watched the whole thing. And you know, Facts. people love clickbait. So that's why. Yeah. I, but that's why I brought y'all right because like I feel like. When it comes to social media, help me out. Listen, because don't kill me if I say it's wrong, right? Please, just <laughs> understand it's coming from the heart. Because I got a way of saying things myself. Okay. So I brought y'all because I felt like on social media, y'all were like from two different worlds, right? I feel like at one point, because I looked at your Instagram, and I feel like I just said like, a, lot, a lot of music and like mm -hmm. modeling. But I feel like at one point, like you was giving it up on Instagram, like, you feel me? Like, OnlyFans, right? No, nah, not OnlyFans. Like... <laughs> What you you said a great word last night <laughs> yesterday. You like, I was asking what, what risque. Was, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I feel like at one point I don't know if it's there now, but I know you was giving like a lot like real risque, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like you you like conservative on the social on a social media side. Like mm -hmm. I don't really see you. So I wanted to bring two ladies from two different parts. You know what I'm saying to get your opinions on just the dressing inappropriately thing, right? Like mm -hmm. what the fuck is that? Can somebody even dress inappropriately? And I feel like you had something to say. You was about to say something. I always have something to say, but <laughs> but no, I thought I felt but you it. Ask these ladies about how they felt about dressing or how defining what is inappropriate and what is. I just it's, it's, it looked like you you wanted to like jump out and say something. Not at this particular point. <laughs> I feel like when it comes to dressing inappropriately, it's about a time and a place. It's literally just a time and a place for everything. Mm -hmm. That's all. You know when like if I was coming in here like for me like I'm not gonna walk in with like some sheer thing in my titties and ass and pussy out like that's just not what how i want to be represented or how i want to see myself you know on a social platform but, like, but i don't knock the next girl who does it though that's where my thing is it's like just because i'm a little bit more on the conservative side and things like that don't mean that i'm gonna hate on somebody who is more confident enough to represent herself that way Right. Yeah, because I was gonna come in here with a bikini, but I changed my mind. No, nah, so, nah, so I, actually, <laughs> I was gonna come to prove a point. Right, right. but I, I wanted, I kind of wanted you to make that. And you know I would have loved it, statement. like you know what I mean. Like I would have loved that that she came in here with a bikini. I've been like, so from the clip, what exactly was said? Started she from the clip? Um, I guess the basis is. No, exactly what she said. She was saying, um, dress the way you want to be addressed. Right, right. dress the way you want to be addressed. No, but I didn't like her comp. I'm not going to lie. I didn't like when she was saying, like, well, if you show, you basically along the lines, I'm not going to say, I, I don't know exactly what it was word from word, but I felt like she was saying, like, okay, well, if you're showing your pussy and stuff online, you're giving it up online, like, um, you should be, you should be addressed. Like, if niggas going to address you sexually, like, so if you just, oh, well, so I don't like, think, I didn't so I like think it was, it was like, I think. What was meant again was the time and the place for everything, right? Right. However, how it came off was, you know, but I think it's still it some validity in it. It, it was like dress like, how you want to be addressed. But what's so funny is the way I dress yeah. online, I still get niggas to address me. Cry. Wow. And that's exactly. what I, and that's why I brought you though. That's why I, that's why I niggas brought going nigg regardless. That's why I brought two different women from two <laughs> different worlds, right? Because I feel like it still can happen. But I feel like at the same time, and this is freely to you, like we can't ignore that if you dress 
a certain type of way on social media that people might not. I don't want to say higher percentage, but like, because you said like people still going. I mean, people are going to we, always judge a book by its cover, always. regardless yeah. of how you dress or anything. Because it's plenty of people that know me from being online and being an eye candy model and shaking my ass and all that. Mm-hmm. And then when they meet me, they be like, oh, you cool as shit. I didn't think you was like this or you mm-hmm. were educated or anything like right. that just because I know I have a nice body and I make bread off of it. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. work smarter, not harder. Right. Mm-hmm. And people look at me like, oh, oh, she stuck up. The whole time, I'm like free as The free E D E. Hey. That too. Better be careful because I hope that's not a laugh to like, not, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're not doing it. <laughs> I'm very, not, okay, okay, wait, 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 hold on, wait. Before we even continue, like I am very comfortable with my sexual self. Yes. Very comfortable, yes, I'm, I'm very okay saying. with talking bro, about a lot of shit. shit. on the internet these past okay. days, bro, and this is what I'm gonna say. Yeah, I'm just saying, Levon, like, Levon I'm very comfortable. She's a whole nother world though, okay? And I want to explain this and you know, yeah, grab your drink. So what she <laughs> what she has is no, I'm, no, because this is my this is my home. These both of my friends in real life for years. I know these people. Everybody has, but she has a, a something called a finster, and I think we need to talk about that too because that's or the when fake Instagram. The fake? But no, no, no. But, 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 it's, but it's hard. Wow. Why are you putting my finster? Because it's there? important. I ain't want you to miss it. Let's get out there. But no, I think it's dope because oh it's a God. different side of things, and it's dope because you know, she like yo, man. I want you to explain it. What's a finster? Wait, wait, wait. So you got uh, only fans on Instagram? No, 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 no. no, no absolutely. Because what's she doing on her Instagram? That, the finster that she got on her Instagram. It's like right, yeah, go ahead, talking explain. people, talking, talking about people. So, I do talk shit. Yeah. Um, but I keep Welcome like who I be talking side. shit about. I be uh, I be keeping them anonymous, mm-hmm. or whatever. But basically, my fence is an okay. anonymous Instagram. Like you won't know it's me unless you follow it. I have it private, and like that's where I actually share most of like who I am because I don't. It's not for everybody. You know what I mean? So, so why not just make a close friends? That's what the close friends. I mean, for. I have a close friends, but I just wanted another page just to actually like post things mm-hmm. and like write out mm-hmm. my thoughts and shit like that to my friends. The only people who follow my fence are my actual friends. Mm-hmm. So and she dropped a couldn't... couple sexy dexies in that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I got a little. We're <laughs> But was, what's funny is like what I'm doing in there is not like it's not no it's, it's not nothing crazy. like OnlyFans. Yeah, like, yeah, no, it's just like you know. I, I I'm like just it. I think very, it's unique. Um, I bet you do. Like you keep on saying like <laughs> because it's a lot of girls that have <laughs> that. It's a lot of girls that have that, but it's like the other side of just having. Yeah, it's just the other other side of me. Like when you just look at my Instagram, I just have six pictures. But like I don't want. I don't think that I want to share all of that with like I only have seven thousand followers, but that's not for seven thousand people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. 50 people that's follow this close That's kind of is... like Summer Walker. She has like things. Yep, that's exactly No, thing. Yeah, no, but it's, hers is it's open to the public. Yeah, yeah. she like, has like a hers private is open page to the public. Like a, right. A business. Why not? Exactly. Just close that's friends. what it is. Close friends. Because it's another way of doing it, Jay. Right. There's two ways of doing things. I can do close friends. I can do a whole page of it. Just whatever you do is your prerogative, and I ain't. Listen, it's the same shit just on, on in a Yo, different this way. Do yeah. this the whole I gotta be show, careful because the internet is watching. What I you got mean? You. Like, bro, I, I, I got like, you, brother. Niggas gonna chop up 69. If niggas wanna turn you into the devil, they're gonna do that regardless. regardless. Money. I don't care how you try to, you try to dress at the end of the day. And, at the end of the day, none of yeah, the motherfuckers joking. matter. Nope. None of, oh, yeah, right, right. No, okay. none of them matter. So I was gonna ask, my bad, what you about to say? I was gonna ask a question, but I mean, go ahead if you got. What was the question you were gonna ask? The question I was gonna ask. Fucking is based being on weird. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga so here, nigga, this nigga here. All right, so my question is like, is it important to you as a part of who you are to bring forth the? I'm not even saying inappropriate, but like, because I think all of this shit is appropriate. But do you feel like it's important <laughs> do you know? to, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. to display how sexy you are, is to show your body in the ways you do, to be very specific about the outfits, to approach things the way is it like you said you're gonna pull up that? in a bikini, like you wanted to make that yeah, is that a, is that so an important part of who you are? Is that a defining component of who you are? Yeah. And why is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Like, nigga. No, like, are you no. saying the way that you, is the way that you hey, dress? Can we five shots, please? Because I don't know because what the fuck is going I'm go- on. I'm going somewhere with this. Wait, but are, are you asking? <laughs> just let me let me, let me cook. simplify it. Go. Are you saying? Are you asking that is the way that we dress <laughs> like important for how we're representing? Define a part of who you are. So, like, you started a whole separate. Obviously, this is something that is important. Obviously, because you set up a whole different Instagram so you can have certain conversations. Exactly. But then even in because I've known your music and I've seen your visuals. Mm-hmm. I even I follow you on Twitter. Yeah. You have very 
uh, you have conversations about sexuality that go beyond what us normal normal niggas, I would say, when it comes down to black people. The black community Absolutely. is very conservative when it comes down to sexuality. Absolutely. But when you start talking about bondage, you talk mm-hmm. about definitions and domination. Oh, I do. Oh, these are yes. very, these are very <laughs> yes. different yes. That's exactly what I meant to. But when you're looking at my Instagram, you would never know. Nope. Right. Facts, you would facts, never facts, know. Facts, of course, of course. And that's a side. And that right. is a side. You know what I'm saying? That is not for everybody. Right. But you still need to express it. Oh, so for sure. I'm a, I'm a very expressive platform. person. So but I like to share. She just limits it to who sees it so that she can limit the amount of bullshit that comes think, into her so, but wait, that's, so that's I create I wanna, my own world. That's, that's where I want to go, though. Because think about it. If... So, so many people online is, is smashing this girl, right? Mm. But could not smash. Let me not say that. They are being mean. Smashing saying, shorty. They smashing shorty Giving in, a verbal, in a verbal way, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Because she said, dress how you want to be addressed. Mm-hmm. And we can't ignore the fact that, like you said, she's eliminating the bullshit. So, however, if, if, if you know that it's something that comes with dressing the way you want to dress, if that makes sense. I feel like it depends on your person and how you carry things and if things really bother you or not. Because I'm going to let you know right now, I don't check my DM half the time because I already know what could possibly be in there because of what I post. I see the comments, all that stuff. A lot of stuff gets deleted, removed, whatever. If it's, I feel like it's inappropriate to be saying on my page. But like, honestly, I don't care. If I feel like I look good and I like that picture and I want to post that picture, I'm going to post it. But like, well, that's what I'm saying. I don't care if it's in a thong. I don't care if it's in a two piece. I don't care if I'm butt ass naked. If I like it, and I want to post it, then I'm posting it. That has nothing to do with nobody else. Right. That's how I am represent myself. I feel comfortable with it. I don't feel degraded doing it. So why does that bother other people so mm. much? I'm not walking into a business interview naked or with my titties out. I'm not walking in a church that way either. But at the same time, it's females that go to church fully covered every day and they, and they still be, uh, get mm-hmm. talked to the yeah. same way I would get talked to on the street regardless. Yeah. So it's really not about how females dress. I think people need to take a look at these men mm. and how they were raised and Niggas how they're built meet. to respect women because <laughs> it really ain't really got much to do with us. Yes, yeah. you can say a little bit, but yeah, because there be there's women that talk shit too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that's yeah. it. I feel like so. So you think is is you? I think you would you would go farther the lines of when a woman says that like. That would be looked at as internal monogam, um, misogyny. Mm-hmm. That's what that's what that's what what you were saying at because you feel like it starts with men. Because we were having this conversation, and I was saying we was having a conversation amongst men, and we still talking about this. But and I was like, I think we should hold each other accountable because again, if if we continue to say it starts with women, and they continue to say it starts with us, like how do it ever get better? Because you gotta think about it too. If I don't know if y'all had like uh, sisters or nothing when y'all was younger and y'all uncles might come over or they may have male company over that's friends of the family. It could be a little girl. She could be seven years old walking around her house where she lives at in shorts. That little girl's not trying to be sexy. She's not right. trying to come on to that grown ass man, but you saying, oh, put shorts on around men. Yeah, you need to Why should I have on. to do that in my house? It's like we sex- sexualize children. children and, exactly. um, I definitely- Black g- little girls at that at a young age. Mm. Mm. And you think so? You think it starts with the men, mm-hmm. fellas? Go for it, yo. Can, so if if we could, I want to take that whole nugget about the children and sexualizing children out of the conversation for a minute. But you can't because though. yes, you can. How? Because if I want to focus, <laughs> because that's on where specific, it starts at. If I would like to focus on a specific, if a specific part of the conversation, I have the right to do that. <laughs> because if you're trying to only because you're trying to. Uh, if I if I'm gonna eat an elephant, nigga, I gotta eat it one bite at a time, nigga. I can't try to unhinge my fucking jaw and taking a whole elephant. And, you know what I mean? Pause it no homo. Yeah. Like we can, yeah. I, I have to be able to discuss really. What big, part of the elephant I, you gonna hold eat on first? For a second, let me finish my statement. <laughs> I, need to be, I need to be able to have a discussion with a certain level of nuance. And if we try to over overload a discussion, bro, right. I can't get to the point of nothing. All right, Jay. All right, let's get it. Go. All Thank right. you, dickhead. Yes, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> my uncle, sir. The first big, the, the first big thing is because this is a very dope and important conversation. Mm-hmm. First of all, we're coming into a change in time period. Mm-hmm. Women uh, may have been freed to become themselves maybe thirty or forty years ago, but us mentally being able to accept it and learning how to transition women from what they used to be to what they are now—that's mm-hmm. a hard thing. You know what I'm saying? Number one. Number two. I don't even feel like women, and, and this is a, a discussion I have on my show and in private a lot, is that I don't feel like women have completely figured out how they want to be addressed all the time, how they want to move forward as a collective, 
you know, what's cool and what's not cool. Because there is a certain point where women want attention. It's just trying to figure out how to give them the attention they want, figuring out the time and place that those things are appropriate, how to move and how not to move. And then because women aren't one thing, it's difficult because some women want aggressive. Some women want some. Wait, some women do, be well, really just liking their body. Some be freaky D. Right. So it's like, <laughs> how how do we navigate yeah. all of that? If you're saying guys need to be responsible and we need to do. Okay, so do we all not say nothing to women when we out in the streets? No. Nah, I, I think just, you should just be respectful about it. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you define on. respect? But I feel like it's a certain level of decency that you got to have, period, with anybody. Like, okay, if it's a so woman what's woman. decent? So what's decent? What is in a decent so, opening approach to a woman? So, right, uh, how are you going to approach a woman that you want to get to know? If I... Hi, first of all, that's <laughs> a decent approach. Is, yeah, hello. hello. Like, right. my name is... Right. No, hey, 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 bitch I, in the red. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey, real quick, real quick, real quick. Why are you been, acking like that? Hey, yo, my, you look good. I've been Come called a bitch ass nigga because I might have approached a woman saying, hey, good afternoon, yo, my name is Bro, but that's one case out of so many. You can't just isolate a small... So what, you're not trying to dismiss that one woman's opinion? Obviously, that's not going to be one woman. There's going to be a set group of women that are going to feel that way. Once again, it's not... Easy. Who said and it's it? It's not simple. But to just so, say you should so, do this. So you saying okay, cool. What I'm, I get what you're saying. But again, if we're talking about sexualizing a woman, that's what we're talking about, uh-huh. right? How we, how we address a woman. Uh-huh. If again, bro, you're not going to say you're not going to use the same talking style to talk to every chick you try to talk to. You adjust. So again, yeah, if you, if you, if you meet a woman, yeah, all women are different. All men are different. So you're not, well, you're actually, not going to. Actually, let me clarify. You you. I do use the same. Well. I do use the same approach to how I talk to. And when I meet somebody on any, so level, that's probably the problem, though. No, it's not the problem. Cause not, it's not. A, Cause I'm not worried about success rates. I'm worried about making sure I don't go to fucking jail. So every time I meet a woman, I do say, "Hey, good afternoon. My name is Jay. How you doing? I want to get to know you." And now, if, if I'm a cornball for that, then cool, shorty. I'm a cornball, but you're not gonna take me to jail, my nigga. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that respect. And, and all right, I think we wait for the point. But I, I, I also about, about okay, go ahead, go ahead, jump go ahead. in. No, stars, you need to jump in. No, 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 no. I'm just saying we general. not about to do this shit. Shut up. Stars go. Is it? We're not about to do that. <laughs> well, I do. I've been in no. here for, for eight hours oh all together. <laughs> all right, now listen. My thing is this. All right, like ladies. All right, I'm, I'm gonna say so, Buffy, because you know you do post some risque stuff real quick. But it's sexy, it's, it's beautiful, you look good or whatever. But like, if you up there twerking, shaking your ass and shit, like, what we post to comment exactly? Like, how? Like, what's the right way to say like? Damn, you but really like you know what you do? So you do the hard eyes and you be like gorgeous. But what do you like? Like in a moment <laughs> like that, like what are you expecting? Because that's what I do in the Maryland post. The yeah. idea of like you know if you Fire. might post a you you want to say you want to boat with your homegirls and all three of y'all get to twerk and then did it now and say yeah we live in a life. The men that are looking at this, what? <laughs> What are we supposed to say in the comments? Like literally, oh like what's the nice things to say compared to? The, I know, like, no, oh I'm damn, I want to eat your ass. I know that's like, okay, you probably shouldn't say that in the comments. <laughs> I think like, oh, I like the way that I like the way that your booty is moving. The motions that you're doing are very nice. Is that like, what do you got me? <laughs> like, I just want to know. It's like, <laughs> no, it's like, I mean, what's so the action. right way to? Because you want, I mean, obviously you want you want views. I mean, mm-hmm. not you. This is just in general or anything yeah, like. She this. would never want views. Um, <laughs> like, I'm just I'm just waiting wait no, for her. No, listen, no, no, this is really important. Because I really don't, I really want to know what y'all think. Because it's like I think commenting like, on a post and then way you approach a woman that you want to get to know is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, we're talking about. Also, so how was so the, the, on the post? Can you put um, your, your mic close a little bit? This good for you. Mm-hmm. Yo, <laughs> it's the voice. Um, of me. <laughs> Just turn up. Let her do whatever she wants. Turn up. <laughs> um, it's not necessarily what, the what, what comment I'm looking for under the post. It's just certain stuff like. Like he said, people come on the internet and just to be mean sometimes. So certain comments aren't really gonna bother me regardless if it's a little out there like, damn, I want each ass or sit on my face or whatever, because I've seen those comments. Yeah. They don't bother me. I'm like, okay, look at this crazy motherfucker. Yeah. Keep scrolling. Yeah. But it's people that come in there and be like, oh, y'all some hoes, anybody could fuck any of y'all, cause y'all do. I be like, hold on, well, wait a mean. minute. <laughs> Cause I twerk, that means I'm easy. That's crazy. No, like you don't know me, sir. Half that's the people true. that comment could never even meet me in person. They're never even getting next to me, and that's not even on no cocky shit. Yeah. They just not. We're not in the same. We're not in the same place at the same time. Right, right, right. So it's like, I feel so like it's you just, just learn to ignore a yeah. lot of shit. Like you just learn to ignore. It's not no right or wrong comment. It's just some people being ignorant and mean and want to say certain things or come behind the fake pages. A lot of times, honestly, it don't even be men. It be females too. Oh. It be a lot of females Let's that get, get on those it. fake pages 
talk and hop behind them fake pages to just to talk shit because they don't like you. And you want to know why they don't like you? Because her homeboy or her boyfriend mm-hmm. or her brother mm-hmm. is liking your pictures mm-hmm. because you confident in what and you, you can got see on. That it always be like, if it, if you're in a relationship, it'd be like your nigga and a thousand other people mm-hmm. who be like your homeboy. It'd be like, <laughs> like, be like your homeboy yeah. or your yeah. homegirl and a thousand other people. You'd be like, oh, that's my closest friend. You. Mm-hmm. Like they be tight, they be tight. So that's be ba- jealousy. Back to a uh, sexualizing woman, right? So I mm-hmm. feel like did we when you were talking about we don't know, men don't know, right? Like how do we know? I just feel like again, I think it's about discernment. A lot of times we choose wrong, but again, if we if we if we keep it at a respectable level, I feel like yeah, we give them the chance to tell them what they want, to tell us what they want, and then go that route. You know what I'm trying to say? I agree with you. However. On the flip side, I do got a lot of homeboys that uh, I would never bring them around my family, uh, but I do love hanging with <laughs> wow. them. Because these niggas don't give a fuck. So everywhere okay. I go with them, if mm-hmm. they see a car, they, yo, I, I, it be summertime, it's legs out. Mm-hmm. They yeah. want to pull up to every set of legs. <laughs> Oh no! So, hey, Charlotte! Hey, hey, come here, come here, come here, come here! But yeah, no, so, um, and I'm yeah. keep about walking. To get you right now. I don't want to be so I don't want to be on no like Derek Jackson shit, right? So like for me, I I feel like I be having like survivor's guilt or something because I be always trying to put myself in the fire. So you but say now, you used to be a hoe, but you're not anymore. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So okay, yeah. Go ahead. So basically, right. what I'm saying like Continue. when I was in college, you get know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was ways that I approached women differently, right? right. And that's that's when it came from that discernment, right? right, right. I feel like I like I ain't about to be up here as front like I'm a fucking saint. You know what I'm saying? Like right. yeah, I probably was wilding, mm-hmm. but I think. It's really about discernment because you really never know, right? Like, mm-hmm. luckily, my percentage rate, however you want to say it, when it came to like not offending somebody, was up. But it was still a lot of girls that was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's wow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, all right so let's have a real discussion. Just me and you. Leave yeah. the ladies to the side for a second. Pause, no homie. Leave the ladies how to the was side. It, how was how high at your, at your crudest man time? Like, you had just got into the fraternity. Let's leave the fraternity out of it. But you just came into your own. You grown, grown. You got a couple dollars in your pocket. Your man's got a car. You got a place to fuck chicks. I probably wasn't doing that. The success at rate, that moment. No, stop, stop. Let's stop. Stop playing. I'm t- we, no. You and your man. You said you said my gro- at my when I when I had money I was grown. Out, you I'm... and your man's is going out. Fuck the situation. You and your man's going okay. out, and you are at your crudest. Okay. And you are just going for you're going for volume here. Yeah, I'm shooting violence. What's up with the how 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 was the success rate with women versus the oh why you gotta talk to me like that? It was really good. Let's just say out of every 10 girls, how many was actually going along with the crude activity? Probably eight. Eight out of 10. Yeah. So and you're sitting life. here on this podcast with me and this <laughs> motherfucker, and you're saying, we need to reform how we do so that we could go for the three and lose the 10? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, as a man, domination and acquisition is, all, you know what I mean? I want to get as much as I can. If, if I can acquire... Eight out of ten women, bro, with me acting like a dick, bro. Who cares you ask me, about the listen, other three? Listen, listen, listen. First of all, we're talking about quantity versus quality. Ooh, the type of the type oh, of. So now we want to no, hold up. So you trying to tell me that eight? There's no bro, quality bro, in the hold, eight. Listen, slow down. Okay. You talking about, bro? First of all, you asked me at my crudest. I was like right. fucking college kid. That's why when right. you, when you when you said it, you was like, uh, when you had money, I'm like, bro. At that time, I wasn't doing this shit. So okay. again, when I'm at my crew, I'm a fucking kid. You know okay. what I'm saying? So as a grown man, mm-hmm. I'm not about to sit up here and say, hey, do this and do that because first of all, I was fucking dumb as shit. I know now, so my job is to teach people to do better. You know what I'm right. saying? So like, you can't like you gonna sit up here? Yeah, I'm gonna sit up here because I know better. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When you know better, you do better. Second of mm-hmm. all, when you talk, when you talk, talking about. Quality over quantity, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the type of woman I probably was getting doing that dumb shit probably wasn't the baddest. You know what I'm saying? That's probably why I was single and ready to mingle. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it, like, <laughs> it is what it is. It's like, bro, you talking like, it, it, it doesn't make sense. So like, when you say we would rather get the three, I mean, shit, I would rather get the three than the 10, than the eight if it's a uh, good quality. You know what so, I'm saying? depending upon the thought process in the man comes how you approach the woman. So if you're looking for a woman of a certain type, then you develop an approach that works for the woman of that type, correct? I mean, you got a type. You you deal with certain chicks. Whatever chicks, you you know how to get a certain kind of chick. Mm-hmm. I know if I go to a, cer- a certain type chick who like nice things, I'm not going to ask her to go Applebee's. Exactly. That's not something that's going to intrigue her. Exactly. exactly. She, she might want the steak. You she, know? She, she, want right. the, she want the potatoes. She you know, she's <laughs> you know she <laughs> but, but if you go into, if you get a little boogie down off or Bel Air Road, you feel me? That's hacking. You know what I mean? Pick her up. You feel me? Is she she just got off at McDonald's. You feel me? Hmm. She just want an apple pie. You See, feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Like 
I told y'all though, that's not me though. Like I'm, I got like this. It's quite, but that's that's yeah. the type of women I want. Yeah. I gotta do a little more for. So if mm-hmm. you doing screaming, hey, what's up, dude? And that's working for you. Chances is they some dubs, and that's just a thousand on it. Mm-hmm. Now, ladies, after we've just had this discussion, how do y'all feel about it? <laughs> it makes sense to me. <laughs> it makes I ain't sense. Going to you ain't going to Applebee's, right? No. The stick of potatoes. <laughs> but now, again, like I was saying, when it comes to like, you know, sexualizing women, you feel like that's a man, it came from men. Mm-hmm. And that's a, a for, something for us to fix. Mm-hmm. That's never going to happen. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not I never said world. it was going to happen. I said Apple it's not for y'all Let's get back to it. It's, it's not, first of all, <clears throat> it's a lot of shit that's not going to happen in this world because God made the world bad and evil. So I, th- mm. I mean, bad and good. Good, yeah. well, you said good and, and evil. evil. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're doomed. This podcast <laughs> is at this point. <laughs> good and evil. So at the end of the day, like everybody is not going to respect you. Everybody's not going to fuck with you. Everybody's not mm. going to like you. That's just what it is. At the end of the day, like just weed out the fuck shit. That's right. just how I feel. And I feel like right. the way a man approaches a woman or even vice versa, it should be informative to yeah. the person how that person's looking at them. So if I approach you with respect, obviously I'm trying yeah. to give you that so that I can get in return. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or a person of a certain level of value. Thank you. Buffy, what's what's the wildest thing, wildest DM you got? I, I know. I just, I I just that was oh, random shit. as shit. Buffy's probably got I know your shit too. You like, I don't know, let me think. Don't act like you ain't going in. Girls, because they don't be that wild to me. That's what girl, I know them niggas sending them pictures. No, yeah, the, I don't feel like really the pictures even no. that wild. I know, no, girls, this is what girls do. They look at the message, then they'll go back out, then they'll slide it over and put it on red. Like, you read it. Like, <laughs> no, not, I don't, I don't, I don't do that it yeah. anymore. I'll open it. You can see I read it. All right, yeah, so if I open it, I'll leave it there. So, what's the wildest DM you got? I don't know. They range. Sometimes they be like, oh, I got 500 for you. That's a or... wild DM. It, it's wild to me because it's like. I got like, 500 for you? Yeah. Like, as soon as I put. It could be a face picture. It could be a selfie. It's still, oh, yeah, I got $500 for you. For what? Mm-hmm. What do you think you about to get out of this? Some heat, pussy. It's not happening. But. And do you think that's a trip? Do you think that's because of the content that you post, though? No, I think that's just this generation. Because you got you got to look I feel at like it. it. Might be a mixture of a couple of things. Oh, I'm nah, saying another nah, generation. No, what I'm saying is, I I know a lot of older people, and a okay, lot of shit okay. that we do now, they weren't doing. They wasn't even on internet like how it is now. So my thing is with that is all like you know every female like oh if you're not kicking out no bread we not doing nothing we're not going on no date we're not texting me nothing unless you paying the bill up front. Yeah. So when most men come to me like, oh, I got this for you, that for you, sometimes I really don't pay that shit no mind because it's like, he probably feel like, oh, I got to pay her bills first before yeah. she even send me a text message. But that's a whole nother subject. But what's the last, what's the wildest uh, you ever got in your DM? So yeah. uh, I feel like you got some nasty shit. You can't wait. So yeah, because she got yeah, no, She was on that corner. Oh, she like, yeah, no, because I, got, I got, know you got some, because I got no, some. I, I, <laughs> so I know you got I, that, some. I just no, don't feel like real. they, wow. Like, no, I had someone who said they want me to walk them on a leash. I mean, you said you went to that domination. They probably follow your Finsta. No, they don't. They probably saw it. I probably accept screenshotted it. my Finsta is private and they I see accept. Twitter. That's why he clearly knew you was on that type of stuff. Maybe, show. I don't know. I mean, I, I haven't been like talking about like that. I feel like that probably wild to prove that it's people, but niggas sitting your damn like, can you sit on my face? So I want to kiss your feet or worship the girl you walk on. That shit not wild to me. It's just like, all right. So what's the right So anybody ever DM you like, yeah, I want to... um. I want to drink your bath water or some shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like, like you hear that shit all the time. Like, you're like, I want to suck the fart out your ass. Like, nigga, you nigga, you want shit. She said, bro, like, that's regular. I ain't never hit. I know it's regular. Like, 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 niggas would be like, I want to drink. Look at it, this. <laughs> I want to drink your bath water. It's more funny to me than it is wild. What show are we on right now? Like, like, we just, are hilarious. Or DM yeah. like that. Did we just switch podcasts? Can I look? Can I look your period blood? Like, niggas, you wild. Whoa. Wait a minute. No, that's Next level. What did she put in his drink? Like, oh, man. <laughs> no, am I listen, drinking the same? I came to pie, man. Have y'all ever got any wild DMs from a lady? Oh yeah, hell yeah. I got saying what? There's one older chick was like, uh, she wanted to give me, um, I think it was like something, a couple thousand dollars a month. You know, be just okay. be so. And I why are you sitting here baby. right now? <laughs> she was white. Mm. And why are you sitting here right now? I don't like white, white women. I don't like wait. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. That's fine. It's okay to like. No, nah, like. preferences, preferences. I have my own preference, yeah, and I'm saying I'm not attracted to white women. Okay, okay, okay. Into that, uh, me, yeah, I had this lady say she take care of me and my kids. <laughs> I said, well, let shit. me not clap. She's Atlanta. <laughs> I'm about to say, go ahead, she's like, my own money. Can we get? Damn. Can we? Can we normalize that as men? I, I mean, like, I definitely was. I definitely was. Niggas in all these like, PPP hey. loans. And all these motherfucking scamming checks, you know what I'm saying? They be hitting up ladies like, let me take care of you. I want to sponsor you. Yeah. 
Ladies, y'all can no, hit our DMs. Like well, we hit, talked about last time. Stars this is important. We talked about last time. Was what do we want from uh top thing, three things we want from our women? What are the top three things y'all want from y'all men? Yeah, like, what, what are your it? top three things? You know what I mean? What's the top three things? Whether it's looks or the things that, like, what do they have to have? The top three things. What is it? Common sense. Wow. What the fuck is common sense? Because common sense ain't so common That's nowadays. exactly. That's number one. I don't That's think common crazy. sense That's not, not common, one. common sense I don't think is that, one. I don't think common sense exists. Why you don't think that? Because if you was never taught something, you would never know to do it. Well, somebody else needs to teach him before he meet me. <laughs> common sense. So he needs some experience. Right? Yeah, he needs some yeah. experience. I want a leader. Like, I need. I want an alpha male. I feel like me as a woman, I'm very independent because I've had to be. Mm. And I don't always want to have to be that person. I want to be submissive to my man. So I want him to be a leader. Um, and I hate that people on Twitter are trying to down that submissive word, but go ahead. Mm. Yeah, like I, I, that was I don't crazy. have a problem being submissive. Yeah. Yeah. I like catering to my man, but he just has to know how to lead. I'm not going to follow behind you. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. Man, yeah. I've been hearing this. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> 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 so, um... And then three would probably be. I said common sense, right? All right. Loyal. Loyal. So you sex don't matter. Sex ain't in top three. You can sex not in my got. top three because you can teach somebody how to please I you. I ain't teaching shit. Yeah. I've taught before. <laughs> <laughs> we know what's so you top the, three. So what's more important to you? Um, well, clearly loyalty, but like I would say loyalty or respect. What was, if you had to choose one? Mm. Clearly loyalty, right? Because that was top top three. Cause you ain't yeah. say respect in there. I didn't put respect in there. I feel like, res- like I said, That's I feel given? like I should be common sense. I feel like I it's not. hard to choose just. I three. guess not. Like, so, but we had to choose three. So that's what I'm saying. But uh, yeah. we want to honestly know is the sex in there? Every every guy. Sex is not in my top three, honestly, because I looking, had some looks, trash. That's not even looks. Not in there. I can't say looks because what I think is cute to me might not be cute to somebody else. So how I'm gonna say, oh, looks is top three? But like it's for you, it's your it's, top three for you. Right. What's your top three then? You definitely do that look good. I'm sorry. <laughs> you definitely yeah, do that look good. That look good. That's that people fuck up. You always worry about somebody looking so good and then yeah. they be bullshit as a person. Like, oh, it's not always sure. about but that. For me to pursue you, like, I have to be attracted to you. Like, yeah. that's Yeah, but I've had niggas I wasn't attracted to at all when they started talking to me. But once we actually started talking, I became more attracted hey, to them. But this, so that's nah, different. This is our top three, though. It is. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm just yeah. saying. I'm just saying. Now, our experiences are different. Yeah. Like, for me, in general, like, no. I have to be I have to be attracted to you. And again, attraction is uh subjective to anybody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What I think I look what I think looks good, y'all might not think looks good, whatever. Right. But yeah. Your attraction is number I, one. You have to be attracted to you. I do have first. to be attracted to you. Okay. Um, I think you use that word attracted to you. I think communication. <laughs> communication is definitely a big thing for what me. What type of communication? Um when it comes to communication about anything, I'm what I like a person to be open because I like to be open with the person that I'm with, you know? Mm. So I would like honesty. us to have an open communication. Yes. That's mm-hmm. why I said communication, because communication could be honesty. It could be respect. You know what I'm saying? Like communication, oh, okay. understanding. So that's okay. why I said communication. So I'm, thinking, so go with <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking, I'm just like, no, I'm not pressed about niggas anyway. Nothing. But this if I had to pick my top oh, three, nothing. I would say, I look, communicate really well. But. I communicate too damn much. Okay, uh, top top three, three. Top I probably three. do. That's my <laughs> so we're going to go with look. Like, Yo, you tell me. My friend, so we're going to go with communication. And my last one, I have to, have to say that um, uh, ambition. Oh, uh, okay. That's cute. I would definitely say ambition. <laughs> no, is that, is that part of I mean, ambition? Is that like, no, for real, because oh, at the end of the day, like I have it. a lot of ambition and I'm, I'm a go getter and I'm just worried about hustling. So at the end of the day, like I would like somebody to be on that same level. So. Mm. Like, yep, sure enough. Sorry. That, she disagreed with her mother. Mm-hmm. Right. She was like, she let you, you saw, right. she, shot Manor, she let you speak, and then yeah. she was like, that's some bullshit, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you just made that shit up. Like, you just, What's wrong with ambition? Nothing. I think right. we, we talked about that. That's this. in mind. I need a woman. You were yeah. like, you need a woman with ambition. I was like, I don't even think, I, I want to be doing something. I understand you want to be, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I, know what I mean? Oh, for you, baby. Like, no, what the fuck is she doing? And with the ambition, it comes like, you know, you're probably good in a bank account. Okay. Number three. <laughs> that was yeah, that no, was that three. was three. That was three. That was three. That was three. I'm that saying, was three. Uh, ambition was my thing. Okay. Yep. Okay. Cool. So you don't care about the sex neither. Oh, I definitely care about the That's sex. That's number four for y'all. If I'm attracted to cool. you, the sex could probably be all right. Oh, what we, if it's not? What if it's not? It's definitely a deal breaker for me. She's, I'm not gonna lie. She's gonna she, she, she I'm not gonna shit. lie. I feel like she's giving full shit. First of all, what y'all what y'all feel about <laughs> say a lot of females can please themselves without y'all knowing what the hell y'all doing. Wait, who, mm. who fell over? Honestly, oh, that's dang, just I'm like, oh, why sex is a because if y'all thinking that sex is a big thing, 
it's a problem because a lot of a lot of men do not know how to have sex. I'm it's gonna let y'all know now. Big they thing. Wait, 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 wait. I, I it's not a huge thing. It's not the you, end all be all. But it's I not. would like to be pleased it's probably by in the my top man. Five, but it's, it's not in my definitely top, top five. So, yes. 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 When you say a lot top of men five, don't know how to, top three. they let's, don't let's know how to. They don't know how to work. They really don't. They were given. They really don't. How you not know how to have sex? Sex is easy, like you. Is it not for, is maybe it? for you? No, is no, I'm it? saying sex is easy. Like that's how you have is it? sex. No, head no. is not easy for a lot of men. No, now, now, pleasing you might not be easy, but having sex is. Hey, yo, can we get a so, zoom in on? If Jay I'm face? having sex, I want to be pleased. Oh, oh, Jay, exactly. That's that's not not what are you talking sex. about? That's being pleased. That ain't like having sex. Having sex is not being pleased. It's two different things. Now you okay. So the basic what too much. You want the basic of sex? I'm not having sex to have something inside of me and not be pleased and and. And pulling out, yeah, we, we got that. Boom, that's we got sex. That. <laughs> cool. Everybody what? knows how to do that. But that's not. Come on. It now. ain't fucking. <laughs> Be serious. So we have to fuck in Be order serious. to get pleasure? Like, what like, the fuck? I, I, I don't know. Like, so I think what the ladies are saying is they want intimacy with. The sex, right? No, nah, I think they just saying they want good sex. They just want nigga. They just want nigga. You just made that shit. Just make a girl like, like you want intimacy. She has to be kissing her. Women just gonna be fucked right. You ain't gotta do all that, nigga. Just use it correctly. You gotta. I mean, of course, women like intimacy, but at the end of the day, we would like to have an orgasm as well. You want to get pounded out? Yes. Thank you. Y'all ask for a lot. Like, no, lot. every she woman don't ask. like pound town either. Everybody yeah, don't like everybody town. don't like it. All this. Baby, get the fuck up off me. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck <laughs> up <laughs> off <laughs> of me. You're the only one. That's the only one. That's the clip. Excuse me. the only one sweating. Excuse me. No. I don't even know if I could do that that fast. Yo, they be rolling sometimes. Yeah, that's, man, I think that's a that's young boys, yo. You know what I'm saying? They coming out sad. Like, <laughs> but nah, man, you fuck. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so nah. What's up, Lee? No, that's what's up, Lee? I heard, because we yo. fuck. Yo, I, I heard, like, an old, older lady, she was like, that's why I like these younger men, because, like, they older women fucking. love young niggas, yo. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, you get to a point, age, like, it's I'm tired. That's perfect. I'm about to say, about the, the, the about men around their age, I'm about to say, the men around their age probably throw their back out or some shit. Oh, they slow now. Yeah, they ain't had slow. sex in a while. Whoa, 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 Y'all ever heard I mean, that men's sex drives slow down as they get older about? and women right. Oh, when you That's say older right. women, I'm thinking like- You're disrespectful right now. What age are we talking about again? You talking about like, yeah. I'm talking about men. Every time anybody says like older, I'm always thinking like- What's old? You was giving me an age. What age is the old nigga? I ain't gonna lie. I don't think there ain't no stupid. such thing as old nigga now. Oh, I feel like these girls old, 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 old nigga is like, like 50 to me. Yeah, 50, 50 is old. 50 is old. Y'all cool, y'all cool. Y'all making 30 old. and 40 old. That shit not not 40 now. Time out. Let's keep talking about. Can I tell a story about that? You about to tell a story? I'm 28. Sorry, I had to think about it. Okay, I'm 28, so I remember. you 30, you gonna say you 28 again, but. You know I don't care. I'm gonna look. When you get older, you be like, you, you be backtracking that shit. Nah, yeah. I'm very okay with getting older because everybody say I don't look like my age. But um, I remember I met a guy or whatever. He looked older. We text for a little bit. I'm just asking him how old he is, and he was like, um, I think he said 22. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, how old do you think I am? And I'm and he was like. 25. I'm like, no, I'm 27. He was like, oh, you look good for your age. <laughs> oh, you don't? You, <laughs> you, 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 you say. She couldn't return a compliment. Yo, I was like, what? <laughs> so y'all don't want to hear that? Wow. Like, I look good for your age. Like, damn. Oh, but you couldn't return a compliment, though. But what's like, I know it's inappropriate to ask 20, age, but like, if you get to know like, somebody, how you ask, you like, need to ask. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, nah, nigga, really you gotta ask. Yeah, like, yo, yeah, you, you have, have to ask. ask. Yeah. Cause these, these young, young niggas and young girls but, uh, look speaking of, like, speaking of young grown. motherfuckers, right? Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> It ain't used to be like this, bro. No. It used to be like, like I go to the club, the game fucked up. Bro, listen, no. the game fucked up. Yo, <laughs> niggas' refund checks is different now, different. baby. No, like no niggas, shit. niggas, niggas, niggas ain't eating at the motherfucking cafeteria in college, b. Like niggas is eating at motherfucking Ruth Chris. You go to the club, it be like eighteen and nineteen year olds popping ace. Be like, bro, I wasn't doing that at eighteen. No, <laughs> I wasn't either. Shit ain't fair for us out here. Like at these young all. niggas, young niggas shining. And like, it's like, honestly, it's because of the internet. It's literally the internet outside of um scamming, of course. Uh, people can finally see that they don't need a nine to five in order to make some money. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, are kind of like moving more towards the entrepreneurship 
lane. Like, you know, when we were in high school, I know some some of the people who were in our high school kind of like were ahead of the game. They they knew they wanted to be bosses, but it's like when you see it's like it can be done and it can happen, it's a little bit more of like motivation. So now you got these YouTubers and like 19, 18, 20, 20, like all these young kids with mansions and Lambos and you just be like, damn. <laughs> No, like, niggas, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah, you know they eating, but and sometimes they access to yeah. resources a lot quicker. Yeah, than they got needed. access a but lot. But at the same quicker, time, yeah. like, nah, man, we uh, fuck these young niggas because they we the ones that pay. <laughs> I'm sorry, the I, way. Never, I never wanted bills that young, so it's no, cool. I'm not saying that, but but no, yeah. I, respect, I never wanted bills that respect, young. Though, I feel like you know, and I might this might sound it might be a disconnect. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like our older heads didn't really set us up in a position. They, I feel like our older heads showed us what we didn't want to do, mm-hmm. and then oh, we, for sure. and then we showed the the generation after us how to do it, how it's yeah. done. You know what I'm saying? So I Absolutely. think that's why when I say that, I feel like when I say we gotta give ourselves yeah. some props because I feel like we we kind of handed it off properly. Yeah. I would say yeah. so because most people's parents are like, uh, go to school, go to college, mm-hmm. get a job. You but know these parents mean? today not saying that. Like, nah, you, you know not. what I'm saying? Like, if I had like, I'm not saying that shit. Are you saying that shit, sir? Some of these, some of these girls can't wait to be eighteen to go to the club and get some money in the strip club too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that shit real. I got to so girl. She like, what you do? She was like, she was like, uh, <laughs> she was on a video. She said, how old are you? She's like, I'm about to be eighteen. I can't wait. I've been trying to work at Noma. It's like, wait, when did just dream start? <laughs> you seventeen. But social like, this, media. But social media is really yeah. like taking social it over. And like, the sad part is, a, a lot of females don't even realize like those nights that people be posting where they making. 3,000 or it's like one girl with all this money surrounded with her, all these ones. Mm, they, they don't that know shit. that a lot of times you got to split that between mm-hmm. five girls. Mm-hmm. A lot of times that's the most you made in two months. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you walking out of there with what you walked in with, which is nothing because you, you still got to pay your tip out. Mm-hmm. You got to look good. You can't just walk up in there with some little set you brought from Rainbow, niggas. Right. Mm-hmm. You got Unless you're going to lust. Unless you're going to lust. Mm-hmm. Because you, I'm like, yeah. you, like you sound like you know uh, something. Like I, I do. It's a, I, I worked at the strip club before. Okay, I, have I didn't a lot know of that. Friends that like, work at the strip club, but I didn't know that. So it's oh, you right here. A lot of people don't know. Damn, like she was and like, and a lot of people that's my friends actually do know. But whatever. I mean, when, 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 she's trying to throw a shot at me. Yeah. I, I wasn't. <laughs> it's all good. She I'm, take a shot at I'm not going to. I did kind of throw a shot at Lust. No shade to the girls that work at Lust. Some of y'all make some money. Some of y'all don't. They're not business. Um, but. Yeah, like yeah. that stripping game life. is not what everybody think is correct up to be. Mm-hmm. And if your confidence not up there, it's hard to work yeah. there too. You yeah. think it's hard getting y'all that on the street when you wearing something. Right. Think about how them niggas talk to you in the club. Mm. Then a lot of them niggas talk to you like you ain't shit. That's Being crazy. Because they just throwing a couple ones at you. You got to hustle for that money. Like if you're not mentally prepared, I would never tell nobody to go work at no strip club. It look cute. Mm-hmm. It's cute for the grand, but that shit is not what it's cracked up to be. So is it worth the reward though? I mean, because a lot of girls do it. Man, so it's I like, and y'all know what y'all girl. walking into. Like every girl know when they going, I'm about to go strip. You know, I mean, I, I can't say that they time. know what they walking into. Because a lot of things we do that we really don't know the full sk- yeah. scope of what's about to happen. So I wouldn't say they know. All right. I, I also would say- think it's how you go into it. Because mm-hmm. I've seen two girls from Baltimore who getting money and now they got like boutiques all over mm-hmm. the city. Mm-hmm. I say if you're going to do it, I feel like do it go in with a plan. Mm. Don't ever try to seclude yourself to that because some people get so stuck with, oh, it's fast money, it's fast money. If you don't invest with that money, a lot of people get that mentality like, oh, I spent it, I'm going to make it back. Mm -hmm. So then two years later, five years later, you still end up with nothing. That same little apartment you got in that same little Honda. Like, you're supposed to have a plan, build up. Don't ever get stuck in a strip club like, I think a lot of them get stuck in a strip club too. Cause it's fast they money. Did. It's like yeah. drugs. It's hard to get the drug gang. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, we all, you know, you know. And I also think we all sometimes they might, really, they might actually really, they might actually really enjoy it. Everything, right? Yeah, and then some people <laughs> yeah, like it. Yeah. They love I love thrill. strippers. It's a I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I love strippers, but I could my oh, God, bad back and bad knees. I couldn't continue <laughs> to do that shit. But they like, more power to the girls. Like, I love watching strippers dance and all that. Same. Yo, question. I want to um. I want to have this conversation. This is kind of awkward. It's switching the dynamic, but it's still like talking about entrepreneurship and things like that, right? Okay. So I don't know if you guys are uh, privy to this, but first of all, let me ask you. Have y'all ever like worked with friends? No. Yes. How was it? It was fine. It was like, y'all didn't have no like bumps, bruises, like it was cool. You, you In the would... beginning, but that's why we kind of 
talked about it before we actually went and did it. Mm-hmm. Once it actually happened, it was fine with everything. Why haven't you said that? Like you meant that? Like no? Like, um, I just feel like it's like mixing friends and business is like I feel like I would do it e- uh, eventually, but I don't know. I just feel like mixing friends and business sometimes can be rocky, and I just like to have my friend as my friend. Mm. Mm. So you would build business with an associate and not a friend. Like a girl you know of. First of all, I'm not building business with nobody. Well, be, well you would work with. But I kind of get it because it's like, I feel like she's saying, you know, like, I want you to, I want that. Fuck. I just want my friend to be my friend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, it's like, a word I'm looking for. The only time I'm going to work with a friend, my friend is if I'm I'm the boss of my business and I need help and I'm going to pay you to help me. Right. Mm-hmm. You know like what I'm wanna, saying? That's what we're like. You want to keep that innocence, right? Because like, if you're my friend. We, yeah. I, I, we 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 can't bump heads on this per se. We can bump heads on only friendship, right? Yeah. Now it's mm-hmm. it's fine business, it's fine money. It's yeah. like it's a lot and it on the table. It's like, extra. So you just want to keep continue like keep that innocence as my friend. Absolutely. I was mm-hmm. I was saying that because like you know on the internet, and of course everybody is talking about this. Uh, everybody is talking about this. Um, this Joe Button shit. Oh, right. Lord. Yeah. And so, how long how long leave us together, Jay? Uh, all right, so both of them different times. So Rory came on episode six, and Maul came on around like episode thirty that or fifty between between thirty and fifty. That don't mean shit to somebody that don't know how many episodes they on right now. They're on episode four hundred and like seventy something. Right That's now. how we set the perspective. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so do you, like, I don't know if you want to break this down because I feel like you had a you got like you were very really invested into this. Yeah, I've been listening to the podcast since day one, so since episode one. All right, so what happened? Uh, Rory and Maul recently exited from the podcast. Mm -hmm. The reason that they stated was there were some discrepancies with the money. Mm -hmm. So the contract that was written between Joe and Rory and Maul is that they were to get an X percentage of all the income brought in. Okay. So... Uh, what happened is, is that they were just getting money with no explanation of, well, we got a Spotify deal. How much is the Spotify deal? Don't worry about it. Take this check. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then it'll be like, wow. oh, we're going to Patreon. Oh, yeah. How much are we getting from Patreon? Don't worry about it. Take, Take a check. check. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, the checks are ignorant. Checks are huge. Mm-hmm. They making a lot. They all, all of them said, yo, we making a shitload of money. Well, to the we're point trying where to understand. He, Roy gave some money away his right. monthly check. They were saying this is so much money that like some of the other team members, which they're talking about people behind the cameras were complaining of not receiving as much. So they all agreed to give some of their money to the other people so that everybody could, you know, everybody, get a little bit everybody of eats. relief. So the issue came because they, they went directly to Joe and said, look, bro, we just want to reconcile, you know, what's going on. So can you open up the books, the accounting, and show us how much was brought in for our podcast so that we can line up how much we're getting paid and make sure we're getting our appropriate percentages. Facts. So if you're overpaying us, we don't want overpay. We just want whatever the, our agreement is. Whatever we're supposed, we to, supposed to do. Correct. Mm-hmm. Joe Button, being a Virgo, I would like to say. Menace. Menace to societies. Mm-hmm. Ooh, let's not do that. That's me. Even though that I mean, be- I'm a Virgo. I was about to say she's a Virgo. Are. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> it's, so it's crazy that you said that because like, I love Virgos. They fucking childish. Nigga, because they just like you. Gemini's, nigga. Y'all fucking crazy but, ass. That's weird niggas. because childish? I was going to say like, um, they the opposite of me. But I mean, I don't see. Really? You yeah, don't think because, you're childish? But that's why I love As you Virgos. said here in the podcast, fishing for compliments and throwing <laughs> shots at everybody on a sub level. I mean. Are you okay? We got those gloves love up, you, man. man. I don't know where. Right. Like, I'm just like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> you know like are just, you? Yeah. Are you just said you weren't childish. I was you just trying to bring fight, up a couple you know little saying? elements yeah. here. I mean, I don't want to fight nobody. But anyway, um. Like, yeah, how do we uh, get to a fight? So know. anyway, uh, I was gonna ask you. Go ahead. I was just saying I love Virgos because I feel like I'm always fucking worried about work and just uptight and just focused. And I feel like Virgos are fucking just goofy. And that shit's like the opposite. And I need that shit. Like that should be just. It's just That's true. Like so. Yeah, that depends on the Virgo you get. Cause you. We are different shit. type of Virgos though. Mm-hmm. Oh, you a Virgo? Mm-hmm. Oh shit! I ain't my, my bad. Well. I, I was saying because y'all was the Virgos. killing Virgos. I was saying I love Virgos. No, I love Virgo Virgos. men. Let's, let's yeah, clarify Virgo something. Virgo Eighty percent of my family are Virgos, my nigga. I have to tread lightly, but at the same time, <laughs> when I say Virgos are crazy, I've never heard a Virgo go, "You're wrong." They all be like, "Yeah, but I'm on a different level." Okay, <laughs> so I can see that. I can see that. So the thing is, is that what when they approached Joe, 
Joe heard it differently. So he heard it as A, y'all don't trust me. B, he's taking it as uh you know what I mean? I don't, I'm not a good leader. He's taking uh, it personal. He's taking it personal and, instead of understanding this is business. And that be my problem because at the end of the day, people don't know how to separate their personal with business sometimes. At the, mm-hmm. Like, you just need to focus on the money. At the end of the day, if we have a contract and you telling me I'm getting what percentage, I'm, I should be able to ask the accountant on a show that I'm on for, what, 400 episodes, what percentage that I'm getting out of, out of the pot. Mm-hmm. I can ask about my contract. I can ask about my funds, my money. So if Joe is taking it that way, he not focused on the business. He's taking it like, oh, I'm not talking to you, nigga. Like, I'm talking to the accountant. Open the books and show me what I'm making. Right. Mm-hmm. They're I'm entitled to that. Now, that's a, that's the number one thing. The other big thing I, I, I feel like Joe doesn't pay attention to and he keeps getting himself caught up is that your public persona has taken so many hits over the last decade. Hard. Like, yo, you've been shown to be misogynistic. You've been shown to be violent, potentially violent and abusive to women. So at the time period when he was really close to being canceled, Maul and Roy's presence added a certain level of humanness to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like they him having balanced. friends to it. say, Yo, you stupid, you wrong, da 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 to kind of bring him down and make him grounded, it was necessary. So as much as he, in his moments of just bravado and, and ego, because sometimes mm-hmm. he goes on these ego tirades, mm-hmm. which is one of the things I love about him, uh, he forgets that you need these niggas. Mm-hmm. Because you could easily be a fucking crazy abuser, not in real life, but just off of perception alone. And flanking yourself with individuals that are not out here getting caught up in the lights and the flash and the glory. You need these people to ground you emotionally, but also ground you perception wise. Mm -hmm. So them leaving and all that, it's not just about money, bro. It's about you having to now try to show you have to try to ground yourself again in an audience of people that have always looked at you in a suspect kind of way. Go ahead. My thing that I like, I don't know, because it I feel Emotional, like nah, nah, nah. <laughs> but nah, um, the thing that I didn't like about it is, you know, Joe Button is uh, like s- such an essential piece to like creators, right? I feel like he damn near coined the term, right? I feel like um, so being this person that I know he's one of the people I look up to, you know what I'm saying? Like so, being this person that people look at you like and you and you fight for you 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 were fighting for the things you were doing to your friends, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And to find that out about somebody that you like look up to and like you you, you kind of like run your bit well however you have you say it, right to find out that that's that person is like damn it's like it's fucked up because you grow to learn you grow, you grow to love somebody right but then when somebody show you who they are it's like if you continue to not love them but if you continue to look at them in the same light you gotta look at yourself kind of right so it's like now i'm like i can't even fuck with you now because you just this foul ass nigga. Okay, so that is. So that was the last straw. That's what people were saying on Twitter. As not as, him I'm being sorry. a dickhead. So, not being right. him violent. Him, like I mean, it was him. He so I, money he went from off his on friends. The so, so I get what you're saying though. Yeah, I, you know me, what I'm saying? So from, <laughs> that's where people on the internet was kind of coming from. Like, so damn, that was the last that straw. Was the last out of, straw. Yeah, like, like out of all the stuff that he been doing. So for me, that was it. So for me, I I came relatively late, right? So like I I I wasn't around since day one. So I didn't. I didn't know about his personal life. And I feel like a lot of people don't know about his, like I understand we see Instagram and a lot of people mm-hmm. see Instagram, but when you talk about Instagram and YouTube, totally two different places. You yeah, know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people on YouTube that don't even have social Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like when it comes to that per se, I really didn't know nothing about the nigga personal life at all. Like I didn't yeah. even know the nigga was on Love and Hip Hop at one time. And nigga was like, yeah. yeah, I didn't even know that shit. You feel me? But um, I say to say like looking at his content and the way he produced content, the way he put things together, and to find out that's what he did is like, how the fuck I'm gonna do this now? Because if it happened <laughs> yeah. to Joe Button at the top of my list, but you gotta yeah. say something. It was a power trip a little bit too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it was him feeling like he was that nigga, and then he gave these niggas money, and then he, I made you millionaires. I feel like that's it. I made you millionaires. How dare you question the money I give you? You ain't mm-hmm. you wouldn't have this if it weren't for me. That that's was the energy true. it came off as. And like the whole thing, like questioning him, like how dare you question me? Like it all gave, I made you niggas energy, yes. and that made them feel absolutely like yeah. you're not getting the answers I need from my friend, regardless how much money I got. It's like yo, like bro, like why, but why can't I? Like I, I'm thank you for making a millionaire, but I still want to see 
that this we, made me this millionaire. Like yeah. this is right. Yeah. Because we, we had that agreement, of course. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's, it's okay. If I get a if I get a certain percentage of money, I need to know how much money we made so I can know if my percentage is right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I know I know you want to say something, Jay. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say that, like, regardless of friendship or whether you're an employee or whatever, respect is respect. You don't mm-hmm. first of all, I, I, a lot of the industry executives, the same, we all said the same thing. It's like you don't fire a nigga publicly. Yeah, that was yeah, that, that was, was cool. And the shit, thing bro. that everybody said, like whether it was Mandy, what she got me tight. Like, why would you do this corny shit? Like that shit yeah, made me so like, mad. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it, was, it was like niggas found out they was fired on the, when the podcast dropped. So when the whole world mm. finds out, that's when I find out I'm fired. Like that's es- wild. especially after we just had a podcast where you said, Yo, I'm fucking up. Let me go ahead and fix this shit. And everything y'all said y'all need, I'm gonna go back and take care of it. Mm-hmm. So you said that publicly and then come back then a week later and be like, yo, you fired, nigga. Oh, and you a snake nigga. Let me go on for 45 minutes on describing, trying to be, you know, I'm trying not to give you details, but give the public details on how you a snake nigga. Mm-hmm. And then when they had wow. and that's and that's the only reason why Rory, Rory and Maul went out and did the podcast, they was like, bro. If you hadn't gone so far to try to discredit us, we wouldn't have even tried to even have a discussion. But you just went on for an hour and a half and tried to destroy our character. And that's the part that I was like, Joe. So there's a question for everybody. Like, how do you... It's like, because it's like, what's the point of no return for a friend? Because I feel like that line has to be... That line has to be further away from, like, just somebody that's just cool. Like, your close friend, right? Somebody that's... Y'all known for years. Let's say your best friend. The line, uh, if I may, mm-hmm. uh, the line in the sand for me is different for every friend. But so your like, best friend, though. Mm-hmm. I feel I like. Have, all right, well, unfortunately, I have a league of extraordinary gentlemen. But I, that's what I call It's based them. off of the loyalty, right? I think it's based off no, the more loyal they are. The, the, the more doing. loyalty they show, the closer of a friend they could be. No, no, I don't. I don't. The more they time in. they come through for you, the more time they show you they got your back. The more time no. they are there for you, the more. No, no that doesn't matter. No, a per- this guy over here who you just no, met. I have to. If, if you allow me to actually answer the question, I can. I mean, you're just going into a whole thing. Yeah. You're going into a tirade. Like, um, first of all, every relationship I have is individual, meaning that I, I, every, I, and they, and first of all, all, if I call you my best friend, it don't matter. Like, we all, I'm, I'm gonna die for you the same way I would die for another nigga. I take a bullet. Kill a nigga, whatever the fuck I gotta do. I whatever. I Friendship and relationships is that. Now, don't at shoot, the end of the day, me. I'll give you a prime example. We are, you, 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 I don't know if she met Will. Y'all I've met my nigga Will. Mm-hmm. He's a fucking insane nigga. Like, I will say this on camera. He is something is wrong with this nigga. <laughs> he has crossed lines that a lot of times I'd be like, yo, any if you wasn't who you are, and I didn't understand you intimately paused the way I understand you, mm-hmm. I'd have been got rid of that nigga. But we got rid of him. <laughs> She's like, yeah, just slow down. Put the camera, put the camera on in there. Put the camera y'all wouldn't be friends at the end anymore. Of the day, when you understand a person and you understand how they operate, how they think, how they move, then you understand that sometimes that that particular person may cross lines, and it's not intentional. But do you also right. hold well, them time, accountable? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One okay. time, when you say get rid of them, what exactly do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Like I, I mean that I would distance myself from that person. Okay, I was like, so I, 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 didn't I, clear I, man, okay. I just met you like years, like like five years, years, five years. Calm down. You know what oh. I don't know what you was into. Last, 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 like, Go ahead, I got you. Do you hold him accountable for the shit that he most be doing? definitely? Now okay. I've had to uh, scream on this nigga. You know what I mean? Never put hands on him, but we've had to have a lot of hard conversations. What you know what I mean? But go ahead. What's the friendship based off of? Why is he a friend? I've known him since high school. So it's based off of time? I'm saying like when we, it's based what you said, it's based like off of time. You said like it's so right. bad. Like, what, no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying like, the friendship you said, based off of no, because you said time, loyalty is something you We spent a lot of time together. I mean like, yo, that. I get it. So outside of the wild shit that he be doing, he cool is what you saying. He be wilding. <laughs> so, he not so he's cool. not cool. Like what? Is yo, he a bad friend? No, you said that. He's a wonderful that. person. He is a beautiful, like, yo, like he is a beautiful, is he? wonderful it's person. It's like a lot of different things you saying. Beautiful right you now. said if y'all like, wasn't cool, you would've got you rid of him. understand that he's a You ain't giving dudes beautiful right now. You giving he's like, He's a three-dimensional cool. individual. Gotcha. So he, he got different have sides. moments of extraordinary kindness. Yo, he is an extraordinarily giving person. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He is an extraordinary loyal person. So that, understanding However, that. However, with all that loyalty and wonderfulness and all those great things, nigga. He but, has, so, but if he didn't have those things, he wouldn't be your friend, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, so, a, that's a basic requirement for all of my friends. We'll go yeah. So I wanted to ask you, so, because this is for everybody for real. Okay. I, my, my, the question is, how do you draw back from a friend, your closest friend, when they cross that line? 
You just said, you know, he has extremely he's like cross first, lines, not basically. even not even lines, right? But he had times where he's extremely nice. So I'm assuming that has to come with being extremely a fucker when he makes mistakes. So if that if that is a so if it's, if his niceness can be so extreme and so can his mistakes, how do you one differentiate that? You know what I'm saying? And how do you deal with that in that moment when he's fucked up extremely? And Intention, you know, yeah. Mm. Intention means everything. Facts. Like if he. Is hard headed and don't listen. So if he come in here, he more than likely he'll be drunk as fuck, and he'll have a tendency to do things as a person that's inebriated and say things that be crazy. Afterwards, he'll be apologetic as fuck about it. Sometimes in a moment he crosses lines, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, his intention ain't to come in and fuck shit up. Uh, he well, just has a tendency to just come in and fuck shit up. That's well, just how it is. Well, now, it, like let's me. turn that because you said what? Well, <laughs> funny, you are crazy. He but like at the me. end of the day, if he was to come in with the intention of, I'm I'm jealous, you know, I, I want to be a part of this, da, 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 and you ain't handy, boom, I'm gonna come in here and be a dick about it. Mm. Then but, yeah, so All right, but wait, nigga, but let's wild let's, let's 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 not, you know, damn, I'm getting old. <laughs> so you know, nah, so because I'm I'm super big on intention, right? Yeah, correct. But one would say, you know, the pathway to hell is paved with inten- good intention. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if your intention is good all the time, but you study doing fucked up shit, then clearly your intention ain't to get better. You know what I'm saying? So like, I think actions, apology, I forgot to say it, but apology is only good as the action that it follows. You know what I'm saying? So like, you can ha- yes. you can be good intentional all you want, but if you continue to make the same fuck up, and I say that because this is how I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm very, I have great intention, but I make a lot of mistakes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, how do you, how do you know when when to draw the line or where the line is laid. And it goes back into, like I said, when you know somebody, I have to judge each person individually. I have so much history with this dude. We done had a million nights of different scenarios. So I know when he's being- You just always know way. his intent. I Which, always know yeah. his intent. And that's, because and that's I know his heart and I know he how he's friends. So y'all think y'all, y'all, the, the line for friendship is intent? I think it's different with girls. It's different. Yeah, with, with, it's definitely different. I, I say that because I want I want her to I want you to speak on this. Both of y'all speak on this. I think girls have the hardest time finding friends. I mean, Why I've seen because every girl I know has had not had a consistent three friends. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know any I girls with a consistent three friends. I have. I've known my friends for about a decade. Y'all fuck with each other the same way, the whole three years. No, it's y'all even got distant girls do this or this. Y'all, you have a fucked up friend that you know is fucked up, but shit, she's a good time. Y'all got different type. <laughs> Vibes, you feel me? And I, I want y'all maybe speak on that for women out there who really be. I know like women who really be like, man, I, I can't find a good girlfriend. Like, like searching for like a, a good friend because it's so hard to find because women are so like vicious towards each other. I can't mm-hmm. believe. Uh, <laughs> I just can't. I'm just really I down to earth. Mm-hmm. A lot of people try to befriend you to. I don't want to say come up, but just to have their way for real. Like yeah. they see you. For example, when I used to host parties all the time, mm-hmm. they see you at the club all the time. They, they just want to go out and party. They <laughs> right. don't really want to be your friend. They just want to be around for that specific reason. Mm. It's people that want to know your business just to tell it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it is kind of hard to find female friends out here, especially when it come down to, it can also come down to who you dating, who yeah. you around. Places you go. Yeah, places, places things you go, go things you have. Mm-hmm. Um, Women are just vicious towards each other. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't, and I've never met, I've never tried to befriend anybody with evil intent or Facts. like a plan or a plot or anything behind that. Yeah. But I've befriended people that had plans and plots before I even knew who the hell they was. Right. Wow. So they come off nice, but then they turn around and do fucked up shit to a point wow. where I've had to deal with like law shit because of females trying to do petty shit. Mm-hmm. So my friends, and I ain't gonna say I'm the perfect friend because I fuck up a lot too. I when I get drunk, it could I could be a whole nother person. Uh, yeah. So shut up. <laughs> so um <laughs> it's been times me and my friends have taken breaks from each other because he's like, you know what, you did this, I wasn't feeling it, you hurt my feelings or whatever. We'll wait a couple honestly, we'll go months without speaking and then come back and we be all good. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that just kind of fit, deals with who they are as a person, like like he said with intent, if they meant it, if they didn't mean it, mm-hmm. and how they follow up after that, like if they yeah, apologize, sure. if they change their actions, things like that. But yeah. do you know, but so you said it's been sometimes even months. Is this something that you guys know in that moment? Because I feel like a lot of times in that moment, you might think we are done, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But Or is this something that you know, like we gotta go a couple months, this is what we No, know. we didn't know. We just, it just happened that way. Yeah. So I asked y'all all that to say, you feel me? Like, I feel like 
a lot of times, even with this Joe Button shit, I feel like a lot of times things in the media is 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 magnified because we see it, yeah. right? But I think these same mistakes, I think these mistakes aren't no different than the mistakes that we have in our everyday lives. It's just yeah. this is pub is it's public pub, pub, yeah. public. You know what I'm saying? It's televised, and I feel like just this in my eyes, just hearing everybody speak. I feel like it could have been, it's just another mistake that a friend made, right? Granted, we don't fuck with it, but again, like we said, there's been times where we didn't do things that people ain't fuck with us. One of our friends did something that we ain't fuck with and they still our friends. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this, their life is podcast, right? So like, it's easy, not saying like it's okay, but it's easy to fire your friend on a podcast when that's when you always see your friend. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, and then you have the extra um, opinion. But that's why I'm asking. What, 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 I'm asking like, because the... like I feel like if he, I feel like him going to fire them on a podcast was really petty. It was. was really childish. And at the end of the day, like they all grown ass men, like they can have a conversation. But he wanted to be petty because him mm-hmm. doing that, it's not because it was easy. It's because he wanted to be petty. No, nah, but that's what I'm saying. It's easy. I feel like that was the intent was to be petty. But it's mm-hmm. easy to be petty on that platform because that's the if, platform they in. That's what I'm saying. Like, he could have just called I, them and be like, y'all fired. I but he wanted to do saying. it on a, pro- on a platform. But no, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, shit, I'm saying right? like, think about it. Your friends that you might have fell out with okay. mm-hmm. is things that y'all fell out. It was a reason for y'all fall out, right? Mm-hmm. So let's say if, I don't know, she didn't like how you was feeling and she carried it away. Right. You could say, you could have picked up the phone and called me. It's, it's, I think it's the same thing almost because I mean, it's yeah, like, it's just a different platform. Right. It didn't have to be on the platform. They I put think it that's out how there you on the realize is what I'm if they actually your friend or not. Because when me and my friends fell out, we didn't run to the internet to be like, oh, yeah. so and so did you this. You would never know if me and my but friends had a problem. But even when fall out, they'll run straight to the internet and like Talking start shit. posting all this crazy shit and no, facts and text messages. Like mm-hmm. you didn't that's have to do all that. That's, that's so, not a exactly. friend. I ain't gonna lie, that's not a friend. If I'm I don't, I don't, uh, I mean to cut you off. But I need to make a point because you may not listen to Joe Button every week, but I listen to Joe Button every week. You know what I'm saying? There are people like Jay Prince. That nigga has even said, I'm not saying shit about this nigga. Regardless of what happens, I'm not, I don't have one word to speak about it. He said that vocally multiple times. He got Jay Prince's son <clears throat> has gone out publicly and disrespected him on multiple platforms and he refuses to crack his lips because he knows what comes with speaking against that family. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a that's so number one. That means he knows what you the know fuck, better. He know, he know who to better. play. Yeah, you know, he know exactly. when to get in now. You know who to speak about when who not to speak about. Not and speak the fact about. that you can speak about your friends, that's corny as shit. Now, that's very it's, corny. One thing is you should be comfortable to have conversations about your friends, especially if those friends were on the platform you're on. However, I don't think he was necessarily being petty. I feel like he was in defense mode, meaning that his yeah. feelings was hurt. Because he felt like niggas should have just trusted me. Yo, trust me. Yo, I got you. Yo, trust me. No, I made you millionaires. That's Keep personal. rolling with me. Even though I don't show you the that's numbers, personal. that's not important. You should imp- you should appreciate our friendship. To just trust me and listen to you. I need to see paperwork. Right. That's mm-hmm. business. And to him, that's why he feels like just, paperwork just doesn't can't, have don't value. Do <laughs> that the relationship is the value. So the yeah. fact that I am... Um, continuing to keep you on the show. And this might be Joe, even though it might be a fucked up perspective, from his perspective it is, yo, I'm Joe, I can put anybody in here. But the fact that I don't want nobody else here and I want you here and then I'm paying you stupid amounts of money, yo, just be cool with it, my nigga. Please let this go. And because they went, no, we can't let it go because this is business and we are adults and this is how we should conduct ourselves. Exactly. He took, now when they said that to him, it's, he feels gutted. Mm-hmm. So now, as an emotional person, as an emotional being, and Joe is very emotional and has a t- tendency to get out of his mind, mm-hmm. that mic went hot, his emotions bubbled up, and he just defended himself in the way he has historically done, which is put his foot all the way in his mouth and then took it out of his mouth and stuck it up his ass. So, like, <laughs> that's what the fuck happened. <sighs> nah, it's not what happened. I'm going to say why. Go ahead. Because. Being in a podcast field, I'm pretty sure he doesn't do what I do, but he sends it out. So you had to record first, <laughs> send it out, mm-hmm. post it, mm-hmm. then upload to Patreon. Mm-hmm. It makes it worse. I'm sorry. Damn, Joe, I tried to think. Like, it makes it worse because, like, it ain't like it's a difference between I'm venting, right? And I'm in public and everybody hear me, then I can just come back and apologize. But you got emotional, mm-hmm. you put it out, mm-hmm. and then you profited off it. Mm-hmm. On the back end, not even mm-hmm. just YouTube. Like, so you had to 
up. That's a separate upload. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's fucked up. But you got also understand sometimes when you let stuff out your system and you in a room full of people who are being supportive of you, mm. you know what I'm saying? You might just get, you might just feel better. I've said it. I got it off my chest. It's done. And until social media comes at you, and then your friends that might not have been in a room go, what the fuck are you doing, nigga? You don't know until you hear, what the fuck? In that tone, is you go, ah, oh, shit. But I mean, I'm, I'm, because that's why he doubled back the next podcast yeah. and went, yo, I fucked up, bro. But that's, I totally fucked up. That's bad on, so I know you saying like business and friends don't mix, but I feel like partially, I don't agree because I feel like I want a group of people, or not even friends. I'm not saying it can't work, but I want people always end up putting personal and business, Mm -hmm. and you, uh, someone, it only works if people know how to separate the two, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, and focus on the numbers and people like, but not even, not even just friends, right? So I won't even just put it on friends. I want a group of people around me who I'm working with that's able to challenge me or check me if there's something wrong. No, oh for sure. Do you want that? Because you just want the public to perceive you as a good guy, or do you actually want people to check you and you actually listen to them? So, I don't think I understand your question. But I okay, think let I, me, I okay, want. Let me put it to you this way: Before He's these asking, cameras went hot, thing? these mics went hot. Mm-hmm. You had a whole back and forth with an important person that's literally about to walk out of the room. Mm-hmm. That he's been with you for a long time. He tried to check you on some shit that he felt was always important. Uh-huh. You stood there, you looked at him, you let him say what he had to say, and you completely ignored every fucking thing he said, and you went on about your business. Now. You can say you want somebody to challenge you and check you, but are you really ready to deal with the people that are trying to challenge you and check you and do what has helped you do what is best for what you feel like you want to do? Um, to answer your question, <clears throat> no, nah, I don't think we, none of us are ready. You know what I'm saying? Because at the same, at somebody that's passionate about something, you know what I'm saying? Like in that moment, you might not take it. Mm-hmm. So that's not, again, I'm no hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? I'm not holier than thou. Like I have my times as well. But yeah, I do want somebody because I'd rather have that back and forth or altercation and come out of and prevail than not have it at all and fail. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And to go back there, I think is a time and place for everything, mm-hmm. right? So even if like, since we are talking about it, like if it's a problem or whatever the case may be, sometimes like, for example, if, if, I'm, if we, if we fr- friends and we mm-hmm. out, you start a fight, we gotta fight niggas. I'm not about to be like, you wrong right then and there. That ain't the time. Right. I'm gonna fight, mm-hmm. you gonna come home. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? You got me out here looking stupid fighting these niggas cause you're dumb ass, you was wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I, might, I might know how to say it that harsh, but that's what I'm saying. And in that moment, I feel like we all have to understand the time and the place. So in that moment, I don't think it was the time because we gotta read the room. This is what is liked in the room. Let's respect that. We could come back. Another time, be like, this why it should be that way. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I feel like all of us, like, I feel like we all play a part in the friendship. We all play a part in the business, mm-hmm. and we got to be able to play our part right. Mm-hmm. Period. That's like. But, and, I, and everything you said was so beautiful and eloquent. But the same way you found a way to justify everything you did and you do, mm-hmm. Joe Button's going to do the same exact shit. Because mm-hmm. he has people that is going to surround him and challenge him, but he's going to justify it away. But that's As what, he needs to, to to prevail in his perspective. But again, Go right, I understand in your perspective, but just to come to his defense real quick mm-hmm. about what you were saying about like, you know, him not listening or whatever. I feel like sometimes it's um one, of course, it's easier said than done when you want somebody that's gonna check you sometimes in that moment you might not feel checked. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But a lot of times you are hearing them. Sometimes you just gotta go back and sit on it for a mm-hmm. little bit and come back and be like, you know what, I was tripping or Okay, come at it at a different approach. You know what right. I'm saying? You to know, where both parties are feeling like they are heard. Yeah, right, I mean, right, you right. know your friends. You, you, you know that, like I said, go back to you saying you know what friends are for what. Right. You know, we got friends to go out with. You got friends that turn up with you. You got friends that y'all go do yoga together. You got yeah. a girl that you go to the gym with. That's all y'all do. Yeah. You got a girl that you know got enough money to go to the restaurants you like to go to since the nigga out here playing with the fucking date. <laughs> <laughs> but right. no, I feel like, but yeah. I say that to say, I do feel like if you had people in the room to check that behavior, it wouldn't have gotten out. Because think about it again, we can, I can have friends in a room in a public setting. I say something. Unbeknownst to y'all, y'all knew what I was going to do, right? So you ain't have a chance to say it. I said it is out. I don't know if it's from a from a phone. It's on TMZ. Mm-hmm. Mistake. Now, when you have people in the room put in place, 
right? Because that's what we need for a business to grow. We need foundation, right? Mm-hmm. Things to put yeah. in place. So when we have people in a room, I say something. By the time it gets, because he records on Saturday, right? I think, or he mm-hmm. records on what? Monday? He records on Monday and then he records on Friday. So he records on Monday and then he records on Friday. So I'm assuming the one from Monday drops on Saturday. The one from Monday drops on on Wednesday and then the one from Friday drops Saturday. All right. So either way, we had time in between from you recording to it getting out. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like if the right people was in place, yeah. they don't have to be friends. They don't have, you know what I'm saying? But if the right people was in place, I don't think that would have happened. So or let me ask you this. He could have the right people. Sorry. Or he could have had people in place and he just said, fuck y'all, I'm going to post this shit anyway. Mm, that's okay. true. But let me ask you this question. If, say for instance, the, the podcast blows up, you know what I mean? We all getting our checks from you. Mm-hmm. Now, my not. lifestyle is dependent mm-hmm. upon that check. You probably won't get your check from me. Because let me let me tell you how let me tell you how the, the scenario in the Joe Button podcast work. The three highest paid people in that show are Roy, Maul, and Joe Button. Joe mm-hmm. is the highest paid. Roy and Maul kind of in the same space. But everybody else behind the camera, are they are employees, right? They their checks are way lower. Right. So you know what I'm saying Parks' his check is, and he just bought a house. It's all dependent upon it. So the mice get turned off. You think I'm really finna? I'm a I'm a talk to you. I'm gonna get harsh, but I'm not gonna go too far because nigga, I gotta work. Yeah. I gotta feed my family. Nah. So yeah. I now think- Rory and Maul were the main ones that said, "Bro, you wrong," because they can walk away. They've got millions, so they were the ones trying to check him. And then they didn't listen. Mm. You know, I mean, he didn't, Joe didn't listen. And that's where I keep saying it's like, it's not as easy. The higher up in the game you go, and the more money involved and things involved, and we employees or people yeah, are employees, ego. You know, it's it's hard. It's mm. hard to not, get people to pay attention, so especially not, driven, confident people such as yourself. Are you, you trying know? to say? <laughs> no, no, no. I see no. what you're trying to do here, I'm me, trying to Joe Button. I'm, I'm not trying to Joe Button. Jay, ain't Jay, no, ain't no correlation. Bro, I'm on your side. But what I would say is, you know who get the you know who get the right check? <laughs> first Jay right, y'all. First no, no, first of all. First of all, my entire team know that they can check me. I might be upset, but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna I think we can my team can vouch for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'll be honest with y'all. Me and Jay been friends for, for a bit now. He's never not considered my conversation. So I mean I don't know if it's if it's certain people. All I ask is no, just, no, 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 no. No, let's clarify on camera from my lips to the world. Jay has never done anything remotely like Joe Button at all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've always had, bro. I've had hard discussions with him behind the scenes quite a few times. I'm the first person to pick up the phone when I see something on a pod. Let's, let's drop the violin, bro. Thank you, though. I appreciate it, guys. But you say God. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yo, we, we getting right, too me, sentimental. Yo, like, yo, thank I you. Like, I love you guys. Though. I was I trying you. to show you some love, bro. bro I love you, and you look good. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So, like. <laughs> 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 so you feel me like yo, we got some really on one of them. You got the estrogen right yo, there. Yo, please, can you cut the liquor off of here? There's just juice no, now. So, just juice. Why I feel like y'all been drinking way more than me. Because right? y'all been bullshitting. But so Ooh. all I'm all I'm saying is let's not get it. Let's you not get it fucked what? up. Do you got a shot? Can you pour me a shot? Ooh, yeah, you, you can shot? use that cup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what I was gonna say is, first of all, <laughs> I'm still gonna say thank Joe <laughs> because Joe is the reason why. Y'all niggas ain't getting no check from me. I'm get a motherfucking somebody to pay y'all motherfuckers. Yeah. Pay us. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want them problems. But I, but again, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like we we are watching these things happen in mm-hmm. real time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like we are learning from these things. Yeah. Granted, that, that, that I mean, it's it neat. still makes him a fucked up friend, but I'm appreciative to it, right? And somebody it, somebody has to take that fall. Correct. You get what I'm trying to say? And and but it, what they say, uh fuck. Like the more I don't know. I and as far as that, you made a statement I earlier about like when you see a flaw in a person or or Shit. like all right, you see Joe Button make major mistakes like he's made, and then you just go, I don't ever want to talk or see him ever again because he's just a fuck up. Like I start I, I, in the age that I am now, I recognize that people are human beings, bro, and that and what they create is what they create. Mm. I don't want to attach the person individual to the creation. Mm. I'm not gonna not watch the Bill Cosby show. Just because this nigga is in jail for some shit, that shit is a fucking phenomenal show. So you, I've I've learned how to just watch shit. For so what it is. so basically, I mean, you want to listen to R. Kelly if he's a rapist. I still listen to R. Kelly. He's definitely in my playlist a lot, nigga. Yes. Yeah, nah. So I, ladies, and, and, if y'all going let's over Jay, so you know, let's clarify something. Let's no. clarify something. I'm still ten years older than all of y'all. R. Kelly means something different to me. 
And but the ladies, and the ladies that you involve yourself came with. came out, these little documentaries, nigga, he was 90% of my music in my life. So, yeah. so like, granted, I definitely to just love Dark Kelly. Nah, again. I don't know why. I just can't do it. We're going to drop that do. motherfucker because you know he means something right, to oh, me. Yo, yo, you know what? Kiss me. <laughs> he means something to me. He means something so different list. to me. Oh. So they, so they, <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. But now, but now. So, I, go ahead. So you had zero loyalty. I hear what you're saying. You Damn. just don't give a fuck. And anything that come and the times get rough, you just dump them off, right? And find some new people, huh? Oh, no, that's man. not true. You fuck. sure? You. Oh, shit. What I'm saying is, listen, <laughs> the camera. Are you sure? Right. Nah, nah. You playing that violin, ain't you, bro? You playing that nah. violin? So no, no, no. I have loyalty, but again, so my I'm actually on your side, Loki. Yeah. Like, I'm actually like, I'm listen to R. Kelly because he makes great fucking music. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was asking, like, do like what side of the fence you on? I know what side of the fence I'm on. Okay, I don't gotta explain cool, it. Cool, cool, cool. I listen to him because I like the music. All right, okay. Yeah, ladies. But somebody going, somebody, somebody, somebody like, like honest, I don't support honestly, him. I ain't fucking fuck on R. Kelly no more. Honestly, you know what shit we can fuck to. Like, hang honestly, he had a great, he had a great catalog, music is yo, very important to the world in general, and sometimes you just can't help what kind of music you connect to. So why you don't listen to him? I just can't. Yeah, it's a, yeah. I'm not. I'm sorry, <laughs> well, but I, I for me, I'm not. R. Kelly giving me. I'm not. Fuck I'm not having sex to R. Kelly. Bro, you're bugging. You're not having sex to R. Kelly. No. You're wilding. What? Okay. Bumping around. I don't want to hear. Y'all too though. young. Because I'm a laugh. Like y'all too young. I'm gonna be 30 What's, next year. You're gonna be getting. She'll be getting there. Be like. I don't see nothing. Are you ready? Yes. Yo, yo, can I ask y'all? Yeah, like hold on. I'm a light skin brown skin nigga. I'm sorry. Do you still listen to Michael Jackson? Do I still he was a quick Michael Jackson. Uh, yeah. All charges were dropped. Um, I do listen party. to Jackson Five sometimes. I I haven't listened to Michael you Jackson. You trying to ease your way out? It's like you wait a minute. I'm sorry. So now I'm asking Jackson. because she's saying all, Michael, all the right Michael things. Wasn't, like, but supposedly that, that was a lie. Supposedly all of that stuff like, was a lie when it came out. Like, but it was still PR accusations. PR, what you mean? Y'all, I'm being real. You said all the right things. I don't like it. Like, but I'm being real. I'm being honest. All right. So let's ask a real question. So do y'all have sex to y'all own music? Do you fuck your own records? Do you fuck your own records? You fuck the own I ain't gonna lie. No, I, th- I, I feel like that's right. I threw one of my jokes on a couple times. Yo, this, you know what I'm saying? is it weird? Oh, actually, I really have, but it was because he had it on his works. playlist. <laughs> so okay. is it weird? I thought it was cute. Since we got three artists here, right? Because I ain't gonna lie to you. Sorry. I'm a little... You can rap? No, no, no. No, no, no. I wish I could say, but you feel me like... Me, I got a problem with, I'm so insecure. Bro, oh, man, chains fuck. are white talk. So, right, like, what's up? So, so listen, like, so listen, so listen. Chain gang. <laughs> would you feel a way if, like, well, you artists, I guess. Okay. But, like, let's say if you, you and your girl was about to do what y'all about to do, mm-hmm. and she, like, put some stars on. <laughs> <laughs> do y'all, do y'all, do y'all, as artists. As artists, first of all, <laughs> y'all think about that. <laughs> Turn that shit up for me, Jay. But as Turn no, that shit up, no, Jay. As artists, as artists, do y'all think? Take it, Jay. Do, do y'all get like well, cocky? Like, do, I could, I could like, do y'all do y'all get like um extra confident, like knowing that somebody is somewhere fucking to your song and they think about you? I had a nigga DM me that before, like, yo, your song invite, yo, man, I put that bitch on. She she really got in the mood for me, yo. You know what I'm saying it's a good. Joke. What does that do for your confidence? I mean, as long as the music works, I really ain't want to like. I mean, so you don't be thinking me, a nigga about telling me so, this. So, 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 like, so, so, so t- yeah. that same exact example, right? You see how y'all just laugh? If you knew that, you don't <laughs> feel like you got one up on a nigga. No, he don't do music. Like I'm. You a, definitely feel bro, you like just, you got a. You just nigga. laugh like so hard. <laughs> like, so you know you put in the back of your mind like, yeah, that nigga bitch want to listen to me. Yeah, like come on. What you want me to say, Jake? Girl, want some dick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that on, on him. Jay, I'm not, they trying to get a really clip. You're being too cool. Right, right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. Nigga, Jay, Jay went viral now, that nigga scared. Jay, your talk. bitch asked for me to play, guess what? It's, 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 it's shaking it's that lit. ass time so, if I see so it. So I'm, I'm glad you answered that, right? Yeah. So, because <laughs> that was your Now you see how niggas think like that. So it makes it, that's why I'm, I'm okay with my, my emotions, you feel me? I can say I'm insecure because it's niggas like that. Oh my God. You feel me? Oh so my if my chick ever came to me like, yo, put some. because you know him? Yeah. So like, right, so okay, so, so it's because I know how niggas know. think. No, no. Because you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, right. so because if, if she be like, put, put some Trey songs, in. you don't hear. No, no, no. If, a, if your shorty said, put some Buffy on and take me to Pound Town, you feeling some kind of way about that? No, because no, double standards are real. Oh. I'm not, uh, again, oh. I'm being very right 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 transparent. Like, so he don't care if I go at his bitch, but he can't if you It's different. All right, so let me ask you the follow up question. So if your girl saw it was like you was on your gram and then she, and then she seen Buffy through your phone and was like yo and you be like yeah come on let's get it and she's like no I want that like I don't want you your dick right now I want Buffy that that don't make you feel no kind of way huh you cool with that 
Yeah. Call up Buff. You as want to as as say, Buff, hey, come through? As Wait, what? We're not wow. doing that. Come on, as, long as, can, <laughs> as, long, <laughs> as long as I can see you for me. She don't want you to see what they do. Oh, yeah, I got a problem with that. Yeah. She just want to go chill. I got, I got a problem with it. Because that's the if they not it an open relationship, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm being honest, it doesn't, it doesn't benefit, benefit me. Though. Yeah, I'm be real. Like, like watching the last benefit it could that could. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, yeah. at least unless I get their relationship is a, the, unless their relationship is open, that's not. Gonna so work. how y'all feel about threesomes? Nah, no. <laughs> Sorry. Straight I've in there. A, that was a hard a subject change. Fuck I, mean, I love yeah, it. I, I'm not. I'm not against threesomes. You like them? I've never had them, but I'm not against zero. Buffy, have you had any? Is that why you don't like him? <laughs> See what she said. <laughs> the camera hot as shit on the face. That fuck she said. Yeah. I feel like it's normalized now. Like, we, do we really got to do this honestly, about threesomes anymore? I feel like you I had them, but you don't want to do it. Like you. I'm not. I wouldn't do it. Again. So why? Okay. Why does it turn you off so much? Uh, for one, I don't know how to let coochie. Okay, but then you don't <laughs> got to do that. Um, I'm stingy. Why? So, yeah. It depends. See, that's what we talked about last time. It's different kinds of threesomes. It's threesomes where your girl is more interested in the woman than you. Then it's threesomes where you and your girl is fucking a woman together. If I'm gonna have a threesome, we all need to be participants. Everybody. I feel like a threesome something. is, you know, one bodily part, one bodily part, one bodily part, all touch. <laughs> threesome. That's that's a threesome. Unfortunately, Jay, it's, it's only yeah. Like, so if you have so many it's, things you can do, it's, it's yeah. only it's, it's, anything else is a train because I feel like if my dick ain't in your pussy while your tongue is in her pussy. It's not a threesome. Or if my tongue ain't in yeah. your pussy while you know what I'm saying, I'm if saying we all ain't risking should, our lives. Y'all can't just everybody say that. Y'all just trying to make it seem like I know what I was talking about. Let's talk what we talk. Nah, y'all really just trying to make it seem. Y'all really, about, y'all really, y'all really <laughs> just trying to make it seem like I, I ain't make no sense. But when I said it out loud, y'all was like, oh, alright, alright. Because when I said body part, body part, body part, all the touch, y'all was like, threesome, right? That shows where your brains is at. Right, it gotta be it gotta bodily be parts. Don't come in with no condom yeah. and shit. Like, hold on. No, it's nasty time. Nah, I ain't gonna. <laughs> Look at Jay. Look at this. Yo, this nigga took it to a different place. You like, said that. He no, we don't got ladies in here a lot. He didn't say nothing. He went we on got ladies in here a lot. But no, all jokes aside. But like, wait, that's we gotta be careful, bro. Fuck careful, yo. If it uh, clips, it clips. You feel me? But anyway, <laughs> so we want to know. I think it's an important conversation because I hear a lot of women comfortably say, "Yeah, I like these." Well, comfortably say, uh, "It's like it's as everything else." Some everything girls is really be lying. A lot of sexual yo. things are normalized right now. Like think about yeah, it. a lot of a lot of girls be lying just to please their men. And little do they know, if that's I, still like right. No, he just want to cheat. He just did it with you. Yeah, <laughs> basically, basically. I don't think nobody nah, 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 do it That's not true, bro. That's not true. I ain't about to lie. I'm saying it's a lot of women who do lie about. Oh, I'm into it. And then when it happened, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, so you know, but that's, I, think, I think I said that. Like, you sit in the corner crying, you nigga fuck this shit up. <laughs> I feel like if you want, if as a woman, like you generally like I, vagina a little bit. No, I, 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 I do think that <laughs> a lot of women a do it to please that man. You know what I'm saying? Well, I wouldn't want to have a threesome with my woman if she genuinely didn't like women. I don't want to have threesome and just be like, you doing it for me. Like, I feel like that's unfair. Because in, right. in that I'm case, in that case, I should to please her the same way. Tell me a fucking river, you bullshit, bro. No, he's full, he's full of shit. Let me tell you would, you, would you let your girl bring a nigga in with you real quick? No. Exactly. That ain't what I'm Why? talking Because you don't like niggas, right? Exactly. Right. Exactly. But wait, but so, yo, I hate when somebody try to isolate a situation to prove a point. You can't do that because I can give I you said, another- I said, personally, I've had three right. with girls who wanted to do it and girls who was doing it for me. Oh, I hate that at first though. You yeah. said, you, you you just came out the gate and said, and I, I don't pre- want. I, I prefer when it was me and my shorty and she was on shit like Okay, no, nah, I get that. Yeah. No, no, like I that. that energy I'm was that. love. No, I'm with that. Now, yeah. I think it's, I it's not fair to force your girl to do a threesome if yeah. she really don't want to do it. All I'm, all because all you don't want her to bring a nigga in on you, you like, hey, yo, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. And then the look good shit, you talking about that shit out the window. <laughs> all I'm saying is, all I was saying is, I wasn't I wasn't saying that's not true. I'm just saying the state to the statement, I don't want to have a threesome with a chick that just want to do it for me. Because I feel like we, it's in relationships, period. It's always going to be that energy. Whereas it might be sometimes where she don't feel like don't, well, you don't feel like doing something for her, but you're going to do it because that's who y'all are together. Yeah. I I just wouldn't x that out. That's that's all I was talking to. But now I hear it's why true. your reason. You know yeah. I, mean? I stand corrected. Okay, yo, can I ask you something? Because I'm okay. sorry, we was joking about this, but y'all know me. I'm, I'm sorry, we was, we having a, a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm really curious, and I want to say this because we got ladies on. We don't have ladies on a lot. Walk into this. Right. What the fuck All right, so nah, nah. So we now nah, I've been joking, right? Because we, we seen All Olivia right, Dope. So Olivia Dope was on um was on Girl, I guess. She was no. Nah, she wasn't on Girl, I guess. Um Olivia See the thing Dope is, is Olivia Dope was on See the Thing is yeah, she's a, a DJ. podcast on the Joe oh, Button. Right. Oh, oh, oh. She recently oh, okay. she recently dropped a video saying how 
um, it was sexual harassment in the workplace because she was recording and Joe was recording and he was saying a lot of things that was inappropriate mm-hmm. and she felt uncomfortable. Right. Um, she was saying that she laughed, she laughed in the um in the moment, in the moment to like ease the ease, ease it the, right. Mm-hmm. Now, again, I might get canceled, but when I first watched the video, <laughs> Wait, I ain't scared to be myself. When I first watched the video, Camera only on jail. I'm not gonna. Hey, I ain't scared of none of you niggas. Like, this is how I feel. So when I first watched the video, I would thought it was like a regular conversation. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, even after they pointed it out, I'm like, bro, like, I didn't agree with laughing it off to ease the mood. I felt like, yeah. bro, like, you you, you could did that this, yeah. at, right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I feel like you could address that. Um, But I know that some women are uncomfortable and, and they not as confident to address or, or not even confident don't know how to address it in that moment right i feel like there are um because i guess in situations there are some way in, in some ways this might sound crazy um women don't want to address men aggressively sometimes mm. because of the reaction mm. so like i feel like say say if the scenario say if it was a woman who was coming at her, she probably feel more a little bit more uh, entitled to dead it rather than la- laugh it off because sometimes it could just be a little intimidating, like you know. And Joe is intimidating. Yeah, I not guess. even. It's not you know? even just he's Joe. He's an though. intimidating we guy. We can't even ignore the, like the, the 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 situation, right? The platform, yeah. the recording. You yeah. said I might not want to fuck that up, so I, I definitely understand. Yeah. But I wanted to bring that up because <clears throat> I know I was joking about it a lot, but it's real, and I. I, I do you think that's a man thing too? Like, do you think that's a man problem or like how do like how do we make women how can women get conf I don't want to say confident, get to a, a space where they can speak up when they feel uncomfortable in a room with a man? I don't know about other females, but I'm gonna cut your ass out. <laughs> um, I'm just being honest. That ain't Not never that. been an issue for me. If I feel um, uncomfortable or I feel like you did yeah. something out the way, I'm gonna say something. Absolutely. Um, but I think it's more so because of that's just like when people say they've been sexually assaulted. It's the same thing. If they put it out there and say something, then everybody wants to know where's the evidence, where's mm. this, how did this happen? It's like you get questioned so much you don't even want to speak the fuck up. Like, mm. yeah. So I feel like that's probably one of the biggest issues. Like they just don't feel comfortable. Yeah. Or it could be like, for example, in the workplace, when you speak up and say something, most of the time, the guy doesn't get in trouble. He doesn't mm-hmm. get fired or say anything to it. They ask you, well, how did you respond? Or what did you do? Like, mm-hmm. they're not just tell you that he said something out the way, on? right? And you still questioning <laughs> and me. So it's industry. like, women get they questioned so much and, and, that it's kind of like, fuck it. What's the point of me saying anything? What's even worse is, is in that sense, like, you know, God forbid, you know, something like that. If you got a situation where somebody's trying to attack you and stuff, mm-hmm. like, this is where we go into this posting how you post and things like that nature they right. use that against you yeah it's like yeah. this is what you post and stuff like this like i got a friend now who says her parents uh she made some bad decisions you know what <laughs> I mean? and and you know some niggas did her wrong and shit and she keep on falling for niggas and then she's a model mm-hmm. so it's like a mom said well this is the type of niggas that you're you're you're, you're, you're gonna attract, you're gonna attract. Yeah. and that's kind of what this entire situation mm-hmm. of everything mm-hmm. comes from it's like is it okay for you Knowing how uh, that 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 you know, I mean, you don't know a nigga's real intentions because how comfortable you're showing the world you are, kind of. You right. know what I'm saying? And That's I what think- comes with it. Like, yeah, you're fully clothed and, and, and whatever the case may be, but you still get the same kind of niggas. But she's getting double what you're getting because right. she is, you know, what I mean, she's exposing. Sexy. It. She appreciates her sexy, and she appreciates people appreciating her sexy. But at the same sure. time, niggas is dogs but and they, really wild. So you to get back, does that mean they can't have that healthy relationship? No, it just means it's gonna be harder for her to find a man who genuinely loves her because there's so many niggas who just wanna. But, but I feel like we see that on social media where a lot of girls who shaking ass got boyfriends. A lot of them don't too. <laughs> so, <laughs> Atlanta, so Atlanta sad. girls, go to downtown. Not, go to Atlanta. So get back, to I get mean, it's girls Atlanta that are girls is made for goodness. Let's, nah, let's, get, <laughs> <laughs> let's get back though. I think I really want to know like how because I felt kind of bad. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I felt kind of bad because I'm watching it and I'm like, I don't know, right? But I want to like I'm I'm just being vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to be able to hear your story, right, and believe it. Mm-hmm. But it's like. It's so, it's so many other pieces. I was watching, I seen Variable. two other women, variables, right? I seen two other women, and I'm thinking, nah, because if it was that, they would say something. You get what I'm saying? Like, if I may. Yeah, yeah. So, in, I got two parts to this. So, I'm, I'm gonna speak directly on the part you, you were just going into. Mm-hmm. The ladies, so it was three girls that are on a podcast that is under the Joe Button Network. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Joe came in to kind of help bolster the numbers. So like, and he hadn't been around in a while to kind of like consult on the show or whatever. Mm-hmm. So they called him the night before. He came in last minute. So they end up having a conversation. In Joe's defense, a part of his persona is being, you know, openly kind of like over-sexualizing stuff with women and having conversations. He's that like doesn't that. even sound good. Yeah. Like, nope, it doesn't. Because so, you're like, in his defense, yeah, like, you're trying that's to not make a, it sound okay. Yeah, yeah, he, right. he can get a little wild. And the yeah. only reason why, and, and it go, and this, <laughs> but when you say like in his defense, because, I'm like, that's it's, not, it's, it's going to my second, second you point. Out, but you know, he, right, he's like, in his defense. I'm like, bro, I don't think that's defending him. That's not helping his. Who's his dick out, but you know, you know, he's a dick That's not helping, that's not helping his defense though. So. For clarification purposes, when he said on the podcast, "Yo, I want to fuck the shit out of Olivia," they stopped tape. Oh, he said and the that. Two gir- yeah, he I, said, I never heard. He's that. A, yeah, yeah. This is my first well, time. You would never hear yeah. it because they stopped it and they pulled the clip out of the the one that got published. Okay. So when he said that, they stopped recording. The whole team was like, oh, "Joe, hell no. you went all right, yo, you it's bugging." She said, "No, no, it's cool." Then the girl said, "No, her, her." Teammates that's on the show with her. When, said, where no, did you yo, hear this from? Joe is the two girls said it. Okay. Bridget and, and Mandy. They came on a podcast and was like, let's explain our side mm-hmm. because we're getting killed on social media. So they said, look, she has a right to feel how she feels. We're not trying to attack her and say that what she felt is wrong and that she doesn't have but they said But she we, wasn't checking nobody. Yeah. But we did approach Joe in the moment, not mm-hmm. later on, and said, Joe, bro, come on, bro. And he was like, Am I, is it too much? Is it too much? You know what I mean? All right, I need to bring it back. So then Olivia was like, nah, you cool. Trying to be a team player. Like, well, let's mm. just push through. You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. So, and then maybe 10 or 15 minutes later, the discussion came up of, should we keep this part or should we cut it out? Olivia said, yo, man, just keep it. It ain't nothing for real. Wow. And then Mandy well, and Bridget question. said, nah, nigga, we cutting that out. Like, yeah, executive right. decision. We're not going to leave that in because we don't want you know what I mean? Whatever. So, okay. So, go ahead. And this is so hard to even, like, have a conversation. Well, I hate even saying this. But, like, like, okay, so y'all don't want to say it when it just happens. Like, do y'all understand how hard it is to say it after a long time when a man gets in trouble and then now y'all want to bring up, oh, like, it's like, me, yeah, this happened to me. Like, he just got fried for the mall and, and shit. But mm-hmm. for my thing, I understand the way, and I see how, I mean, I, I'm on there, like, y'all, I see shit. Yeah. But, like, it's time, man. You feel me? Like, I have all respect to any woman that has anything done to them that is not supposed to happen. Fuck niggas that ain't right or don't listen, who don't hear no. Yes. Or who, who disrespect you, whatever. But, man, you got to say something right away. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, you know what I mean? It's just a cruel world. You're going to so be holding I wanna, it. I, they're I not really, be held accountable because of time. But they're going to get the same response if yeah, they say it now or say it later. That's the problem. The problem isn't speaking up in the time. And the problem is right. how people respond once you speak the hell up. And that's, so, 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 that's, that's, so that's what, that's, so that's, that's the conversation. That's the part that I wanted to speak to. You yeah. feel me? Because at the end of the day, it's still fucked up. Like I said, we, we on a podcast. I said, we can't ignore the fact that the, our influence on people at times. Remember we talked about consent. Yeah. And you were saying that I was, take, I was taking the voices are away from women that says yes. And mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of time, not a lot, I can't say that because I don't know. It be, it's moments like this perfect example where a woman might say it's cool because of the influence or the power that you have over her in that moment. And mm-hmm. my question is, because I'm not gonna lie, I I feel star aside. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's like, if you if you ain't tell me, you ain't even give me the chance to check myself. Try to fix it. You know what I'm saying? You pull me aside, right. they be like, you know what? I really but at the same like, time, yeah, that's, that's my what I was saying, on, and I said, I was saying we can't have this conversation in that moment because again, it wasn't a woman pr- yeah. present. Right. So now that we have women present, it's like, how can we go, how can we hold the accountability on both sides, right? Like how can I do everything in my power to respect you, right? And, but at the same time, if I make a mistake along the line, you feel comfortable enough to speak up. How can how can that mm. coexist? Yeah. Because sometimes y'all allow like really it. Sometimes y'all allow like, it. You like the nigga, yeah. or, or, you know. What but I mean? But again, we can't. Let's not. Let's not say. No, it. No, let's so not say that loud. No, 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 let's not. Okay, so let's, let's not, just keep it in the space. Let's not. But let's yeah. not say yeah. allow it. Yeah, something like again, that. If we say it allow, I'm sorry. If we, I'm just painting. If no, we you're say, right. You're right. If we say allow it, that means that there's no power or influence. We can't say that. Let's just say if the influence is there. Yeah. Because we can't take that away from women. No, no, I see what you're saying. How do we coexist in in that moment though? Like, how can I make a mistake and you feel comfortable enough to say something to me? Honestly, right. I really, I feel like it's really hard for me to kind of like speak about things like that because like, 
I'm just not the type. Like, if you and I, we both address that. Like, if mm-hmm. you disrespect me or if you say something that's out of line, I'm gonna I'm gonna correct you and I'm gonna check you in that moment. I think a lot of times that might play on the confidence that mm-hmm. we we may carry as women alone. Like, we just don't give a fuck about what alpha. I don't give a fuck who you are, what you've done, what kind of power you have. You are nothing. You're not gonna disrespect me. At the end of the day, I'm always gonna correct a nigga. Period. Mm-hmm. Like, right. but for those. Who, for though I guess for the women who um, kind of just laugh it off and play a lot, I just I don't know. So I, I don't I, I can't I can't I don't know how to speak for them. I I don't know what they're going through in that moment, and I actually want to like for the people learn because like to be more sensitive because I mm-hmm. feel like it's a lot way more sensitive people than us. Yeah, and you I, know I, I wanted to jump in and I'm I done my show for fifteen years. Marilyn has been on my show multiple times and I am vulgar and yes. I didn't know I was vulgar. <laughs> I'm like, cause, because for me, I feel like when I'm doing my show, I just need to be uninhibited or crazy. It, it didn't, it, it took for certain women like Nephi, um, and some other individuals that were in the game to kind of like, after the show was over, pull me to the side and go, bro, like that's a lot. My nigga, like you just, Damn, you, you done told me you gonna lick my asshole. You say you will do that, da, 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 da. and I'll be like, damn, dog, I'm playing. But at the same time, yeah. they like, well, how do if I didn't know you, right. how the fuck do you think I'm supposed to process that shit? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Facts. And it took for individuals like that to not come at you with cursing out, not saying that you're not justified in cursing a nigga out, mm-hmm. but to have a conversation with niggas and be like, yo, bro, like. You bugging. It took for women to come to me and be like, yo, nigga, so you bugging. I wanted to and say. This could hurt. Hey, I'm not offended, but I, yo, there's a bunch of chicks that would not know to have right. a conversation. Right. And yeah. it took for them to do that for me to go, damn, Cause, like. Cause, Cause there's some women who like, you'll be in vulgar, vulgar, whatever. And they like, they're just like laughing it off, ha ha ha. But whole time they get in their car, they wow uncomfortable. Right, mm-hmm. right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. But for me, it's like, I'm not going to go on social media and bash you. Right. Like, I'm not going to go on social media and, and be like, oh, well, he was doing this, this, that. He said this, this, that, and the third. Before I even have a conversation with you first, if I have a conversation with you and you kind of like not giving a fuck, I'm like, oh, all right, cool. Like, this is how you carry and shit. Like, this is how your intention was to like not give a fuck about the way that I feel. Like, you just, that's how you are. You just don't give a fuck about my feelings. So mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, cool. Then I'll probably go. I mean, I'm not going to go on it. I'm just don't like attention like that. But um, like, I'm just not going to go on the internet and bash you before having a conversation first. Right. I you know what I'm saying? Energy like, speaks volumes, too. Yeah. Like, if your energy off and you saying vulgar shit, then that's one thing. But if you joking and playing around and we still continuing the conversation even after that, right? most people won't feel so offended. But, of course, there's going to be a couple people that always will. Yeah. Um, But... Like I said, energy speaks volume. So if I've listened to your show before and then I come on your show and automatically get offended, it's like you you searching for a problem, like you're searching for an issue. Yeah. If I already know that's how you are, I know you don't mean anything by it. Mm-hmm. But right. we can't ignore the fact that like, so again, like you said, it is those one-offs when people aren't, aren't comfortable and they try to play it off to... And I'm not ignoring to, that fact, I'm just saying. Yeah. Right, so like in, in those cases, right? If you're just laughing with me, right? Like I feel like one, one would say, it's easy as don't say anything inappropriate to a woman, period, right? Mm-hmm. And I just feel like that's not always the case in relationships. You know what I'm saying? Especially the job that we do. You know what I'm saying? Like in the music industry, in the club, doing podcasts, because our, our work isn't as ABC, one, two, three, as your nine to five, right? Yeah. Like we, we have the luxury of enjoying our work and being in a space where we could drink where you couldn't do this in a regular job. So I feel like to that point, Things could happen. But mm-hmm. if you don't check me in that moment, then I would never know. And not even the fact that I don't know, you don't give me the opportunity to stop or correct myself. Mm-hmm. That's what I really wanted to speak to because it's like, you know, I feel bad for women that feel like they can't speak up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Same. But it's like, I also feel bad for guys that didn't know and got to suffer from this. You know what I'm saying? Granted, I, I'm not um, oblivious. I heard about the stories of Joe so clearly. He might have known, but like, I, Again, but I told you I just got into the Joe thing. I ain't know a lot of shit that people talking about. But I'm saying for the person that hasn't had that background, that honestly, you know it's really no clear answer to it. It's, it's no really one not. way to solve it. Like honestly, no what it's kind of like 
I don't want to say it's a personal issue with people, but it's kind of like personal work you have to do mm. with yourself yes. to be able to speak up when you feel offended. Absolutely. So it's not really something I could be like, oh, well, males can do this or do that to make this person feel comfortable. Honestly, that's really not your job yeah. to make to make somebody feel comfortable if you don't even know you're offending them. Yeah. Like, it's hard because you don't want to be phony and be extra sensitive to shit, but then you're turning around and you're not being yourself, so you're not even being genuine. Exactly. So it's like, it's a, a personal issue. Kinda. One would say though, just for playing devil's advocate purposes, one would say that if you are a boss or you're a leader, that it is your job to make some pe- make the people that you work with feel comfortable. That's yeah. because you were trained properly. But exactly. a lot of people yeah. kind of feel like if I'm the leader and I'm here, yeah. it's to get the job done. Fuck how anybody feels. Exactly. The job got to get done. People are like I'm the boss. I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna say what I want, and you gonna listen. Right. And really, that's not how you be a boss. That's not how you be a leader. Right. Like. The people who are going to stay around you is because you know how to lead and you know how to make them mm. feel comfortable and mm. you know how to talk to them and you know how to communicate and you, you know, they're happy with you being their boss. Like, mm. you know what I'm right, saying? But like, if they have an issue or something and they don't speak up, then how is your boss supposed to know it, how they make you comfortable enough? Right. No, I agree. So, yeah. I absolutely agree. I think that she definitely should have. I personally think that hopefully I don't get dragged, <laughs> but <laughs> I personally think that she should have had a conversation with mm. Joe first. Mm-hmm. before she went on the internet. Because mm-hmm. if she would have had a conversation with Joe first, you know, maybe he could have pleaded his case. Maybe he could have apologized. All of that stuff before mm-hmm. going and making it like a viral moment. Like, yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's and I'm not I saying, I don't know if that was her intent to make <laughs> it a viral <laughs> moment. Like, I'm you not get saying. Bashed and then you, you do it. Yeah, and then you, you do know? a video the sitting by yourself, like crying. Yeah. One thing we don't realize is an apology can go a really long, mm-hmm. a sincere apology. A sincere apology, Can sure. really go a long way in cases and people feel like they just don't have to apologize and all that. Like, it's kind of too late once it's already out there. It kind of yeah. means more once, it, once you handle it one-on-one before mm-hmm. everybody has to speak their opinion. Right. So y'all wanted to ask, not to say wait, but like, I know you about to wrap up and shit. Because you dress the way you dress or post, right? Where we was having the conversation and it's double backs to um, dress how you want to be addressed. Mm-hmm. What I said in a, in a clip and somebody posed a great question I wanted to talk to you about. I was like, so just because you are dressed or you're, you're, you're half dressed, I'm not supposed to approach you sexually. Mm-hmm. Somebody was like, is approaching somebody sexually disrespect? Because when they when they said that, it made sense. I'm yes, like, because you don't know me. Yeah. How you gonna just address me on some wild shit? And I don't but really I, know you like that. Sexually, Man, could it, it, it don't like could, sexually don't have to be wild. Okay, so what is a sexual approach? Give us that's an not example. wild. Give us an example. What if you walking down the street and it, or not you, a girl walking down the street and she got nice leggings on? You be like, damn, you fat shorty and that lady be like. So it's working in the middle. But when you say that shit, you feel me? Like, I mean, that's hey, some girl. Baltimore shit. I'm gonna try to give you. I'm gonna try to give you. I'm gonna give you. Like, I'm gonna give you. Like, I'm gonna give you. Like, that was some Baltimore nigga yeah, shit. What? So I'm thinking, like, because even uh, so, for example, we can't ignore the word "sexy" yourself. Yeah. So let's say if you posting, you you said the word um risque, risque pictures, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, you sexy, sexy. That's technically a sexual. Sexy is an uh, what is that adjective? It's descriptive word. Or you know if, let's mean? say I say, man, I, I DM you like, damn, you look mad good. I would let her. Yeah, some people think sexy is like. Oh, yeah, people, some people don't. Like let's say now, let's go. Let's go. Like, let's, I'm not getting offended about me, that. I don't think any woman is getting offended. I'm dragging. I ain't mean it. I ain't mean it. I was my bad. That was a bad example. I better say nobody's getting offended. Let's say if I DM you like, yo, damn, you look good. I really, I really want to eat your pussy or some shit like that. That's that's disrespectful. Yes, that's wild. That's too much. That's too you much. don't even know what my pussy look like. <laughs> but he, but he, right. what do you want to know? But no, uh, so, but, so, but he, my thing is, you're you're initiating a conversation where you just want to fuck me. You don't want to get to know me. You just want to. But fuck. is that disrespectful though? If I'm le- if I'm leading with that, yeah, because I'm giving you the opportunity to deny it. Because now at that moment. I, uh, you could well, say I yes. guess again, disrespect di- disrespect is subjective to everybody. I was about but to say that. I personally feel like that yes, that is disrespect, and I'm going to okay. leave you on red. And I'm not going to talk to you Levon, because at the question. end of the day, I'm not. I'm question. not going for that. But you tweet. If Jay, the, the, listen, listen, listen. I'm saying this. If Jay, you don't if know Jay, my tweet. If Jay, I don't. You don't, mm-hmm. don't know Jay. You don't know Jay. Jay, you got. You only got a couple followers. You mean like three? Like a guy with three thousand yeah. followers, regular nigga. You feel me coming in like, hey man, you know what I mean? I really want. You feel like you, you're beautiful. You're sexy. I would love to eat your ass, right? But you be like, no, this he is wild. Like, <laughs> you say that's wild, right? This but what if, what if like, 
Chris Brown in your DM. No, Say, I don't care about that. Or no, 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 no. no. But what about this? No, no, no. I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm a respect that. I'm not, I don't but what if, what if, what if this happens though? What if this happens? All right? that shit is disrespect. I'm gonna fuck no, you. It's gonna disrespect no matter who it's coming but, from. But no, if you like him or not. But, but what about this though? What about this? Absolutely. What about this? So if on. my favorite person came in my DM, I didn't even know him. Like, if I had a crush on, like, uh, who do I think is cute? I think Gerald Levert. No. What the? <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. Um, I don't know why I'm having a. Man. I'm having a brain fart. Um, <laughs> yo, yo from um Snowfall, okay. Lee, right? The guy Say, from Snowfall. Yeah. Okay. Say Lee said on my damn like, damn you sexy. I would let her eat your ass. I would leave him on red. All right. No. No. I don't. Cause I'm like, Ugh, so, like now you ruined what I so thought you, you were. Like I, I don't. Respect, nah. Respectfully, let me ask you something else. I'm not. Right. I don't this get man, impressed by money and looks. This man. Bro. That's not even. Say, that's. I'm not about to. That was a terrible. That was a terrible thing. Yeah, Chris Brown. I switched it right now. What I'm saying, I <laughs> guess I'm gonna. Chris, Chris, Brown, Brown, Chris Brown said that to you. You'd be like, oh my god. Not damn. Chris Brown though. We all thought. I would leave him on red. What? But we got, we got. Let, listen, I don't the passion behind that. No, like, listen though. I'm not say, a girl that wants to be. Um, objectified. One objectified. I'm also not a girl that give a fuck about a nigga taking me on jets and tricks and all that. I'm not that girl. But at listen, all. listen. I don't, I don't care about either stuff one. like and that. So I'm, I'm talking about y'all. Cause you clearly not that girl, and you might be. So if, if one of y'all, <laughs> wow, <laughs> well, damn. Well, no, no, I'm saying she, said she I was right, about like, to. Would you I leave Chris Brown? I didn't even ask. Would that. you leave Chris Brown on? I right, right. Even I was about that. to ask a question, and I was trying yeah, to leave Chris ahead. Brown on. I was trying to set the table. She hasn't to said say, no. <laughs> like talk up. Basically, what I was trying to say. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. Please, I was, <laughs> oh but nah. So seriously, seriously. Yeah. Let's say, like, let's say hypothetically, right? The guy, that random guy, whoever random guy is, mm-hmm. followers matter, right? Uh-huh. He DMs you and he say, you are beautiful. I want to eat your ass. It's that's, still no. No, 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 no. I didn't. No, Real I'm shit. not done. That's still no. And that's disrespectful. Yes. But the guy. You tried to dress it up. Okay, but nah, but no. No, no, he didn't. <laughs> he just dressing up. No, but, dress nah, it up. Nah, but hold up. I'm not. But is well. he, is, I understand what you're trying you to don't, say. don't because I ain't finished. Listen, hit me up. Because <laughs> he's being up front. No, right. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That's how I know what He came to you. He said, you're beautiful. I would love to eat your ass. That I don't think that's dressing it up, but the guy who takes you out and courts you and dates you, but all he wants to do is really eat your ass, isn't disrespectful? <laughs> I think that's more disrespectful than the guy that came to you and was direct. It definitely is. Just because you got dentists for it? It definitely is more disrespectful at the end of the day. I feel, from the jump. At the end of the day, a lot of men in general, they just be nice to get what they want. Right. So what's wrong mm. with a guy coming to so, you being very direct? Is that what we all do? Because I know. I, I mean, a lot of guys. I mean, I but I just feel like I just feel like it's a way. They want them. I just feel like it's a way. Um, to go I, about it. I feel like it's a way to go about it. I feel like it's a way to have a conversation. You know, I feel like you can have a conversation on a date. Like, you know, like what's your intention? Like, what do you want? A guy could be like, you know what? I just looking for. If a guy's like, you know what? If, law, if I, no, listen. No, I'm not about to lie. I'm not about to lie. No, listen, 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 listen. At the end of the day, listen. I just want to fuck. I can't talk to you no more because you don't know the truth. Not because I might want to fuck too. You don't know that. Everybody say that, but it's never the case. No, but it's, it's, never, it's never the nigga. You ain't that person. No, I no, no, no. I said no, I'm no. not the one. I said I'm not the one to care about celebrity when he okay. was trying to bring up Chris Brown. All right, Brown. well, fuck Chris Brown. Any nigga I you have, like told you he won't eat your ass in a DM, and you actually regla- like him. I'm eat not. Your no, no, I'm, I'm not right. doing it. Fuck. But you like him though. Listen. Go ahead. No, I don't like. I like him. <laughs> right. Exactly. Oh, all right, so you know. Anyway. So go ahead. So. But the date changes that though. If we're going out on a date and we're talking about intentions and things like that, because we're grown, we're going to talk about intentions. Uh-huh. And he's just like, you know, right now I'm just worried about having fun and this, this, and the third, which means you're not looking to have, you know, anything serious. And in my mind, you just want to fuck. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, so either I'm with it or either I'm down. But like, if I'm with it or whatever, I can't, um, I can't uh, expect him to be something that he's not when he just told me he just want to have so fun. So what's the difference? Because to me, the only difference is the money that I spent on that dinner. Well, the difference is, is that the, sometimes a guy will lie. But no, And not no. say what he really wants to get what he wants. Now, I'm saying the guy that DM'd you and said. To say what he wants to get the girl. The guy that DM'd you and said, he had confidence. He said, hey, you look beautiful. I would like to eat your ass. Yo, well, the only gonna, difference between that yeah. and a guy taking you to, the, to, to dinner and him saying, hey, What's your intention? Well, you know, I'm just trying to have fun. I really want to have sex with you. <laughs> Same thing. He just bought you. He just bought you dinner. Yeah. But literally, instead, instead of him leading yeah. off with it, I guess he started yes. with respect and then kind of he went into. He started with respect. But let me okay. answer what he let wanted and gave. This. So hold yeah. up, Buffy. You is know what I'm saying? Is it disrespectful? Because at the end of the day, take that girl out first. I got. I got. Don't send the first risky. 
You take her out. <laughs> You don't even have to take me out if we just having a, com- a conversation have about conversation intention first. before we even go out. Right. Then I know what you want and be like, mm, I'm not really on she, that. She, have a nice, she, have a nice life. So, so, right. so Buffy. You know what I'm saying? Let's have it, a conversation first. Or I mean, if you just want to lead and be upfront, cool. But I, it's not going to get a response from me. You right. know what I'm so saying? Like that y'all so be so saying like, you just say what you want. I might want it too. But like, when the last time you really wanted it? Like first of all, first of all, <laughs> I've That's always, I've always had situationships. I've always but, had situationships. Off top, off I'm, like, sure, clear, no, I'm no, really I'm glad never, that she's I'm like, never, first of all, I always been fucking niggas <laughs> and not being in a relationship. Like, I always been doing that. <laughs> no, it's real. Like, because, like, life. at the end of the it's day, that's what I wanted shit. to. She's like, whole been life. Whole been life. If, that, yeah. if that's what she had at the end of the day, that's where I was in life. I wasn't worried about a relationship. I wasn't worried about being locked down. I was cool with just having sex and going about our business. I was okay with that. So, I want to ask you two quick But I would like, but for me, if I'm going to have sex with somebody, we could... I would rather you be friends with me rather so than just treat so me is like it disrespectful, I'm like Buffy. Is it disrespectful number. if a nigga came in your DM? <laughs> he was like, he was, he tried to be respectful, like, yo, you're beautiful. How you doing? I would love to eat your ass. Is that disrespect? How you doing? I all that? don't think it's disrespectful. I think it's a bit much. Okay. Only because yeah. it's like I'm telling you that. what he want up front. Like, okay. either I I'm gonna be with that. the shit or I'm not with now, the what shit. If you, yeah. What if you What if you liked him or, before you got the message? Like, it was somebody you was eyeing. Like, personally, probably let him eat your ass. Like if he came, was already no, yeah, personally. Yeah, if he personally. came to you, but he came to you like personally, he came to you like, yo, yo, you look mad good. Thank respectfully, you. you know, niggas love to respect, respectfully word, respectfully. Yeah. I just want to <laughs> let you know, I would love to eat your ass. Or, or you can get it. I just want to let you know, like, show up sexually. Time, what it, so you said it's not respectful. If you wanted him at that moment, would you proceed? Probably. Okay. Cool. I so we got two different type of women. I'm not saying yeah. like right off the bat. I'm just like, all right, where you at? Let's yeah, yeah, do this. I mean, but yeah, I may continue with the conversation. Right, like, okay. you know what? I had my eye on him before. Let's see if we even click to do that. Okay. Yeah. So we got saying? two different type of women. We got the woman that that. But that's, that's not if I it. like him. Be clear. Right. I said like him. If, like if, if, if you've been in my DM for 12 years. And I keep left it on red for twelve years. Don't that hit me don't for the mean years saying, keep trying. Yo, what's up with y'all weirdos? Keep sending messages. Ain't nobody asking yeah. y'all back. Yeah, they be talking nah, to themselves. that's really real. That's hey, how you doing? They will Why you keep saying the morning? She never every told me. <laughs> it's seventeen mornings later, and you ain't got one back. So stars like seventeen yo, uh, mornings. Uh, later. Just like a I've fling or something so like that. If Rico like nasty that. jumped in your in your DM, come get some. And was like, yo, I y'all think you handsome, yo, and I want to toss your salad. You want to let her come toss your salad? Baltimore, Maryland. Two one two three nine. <laughs> oh shit! So I'm gonna ask you, Jay J- Hill, if Rico Nasty jumped into your DM, I don't know. I mean, but I, I got. I mean, I, I, I think Rico. Nasty, I, think, be... I, I think Rico Nasty is attractive. So yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. But I mean, he might. Uh, I mean, whatever. that's why I brought up. I what? wasn't trying to say she was ugly. I no, was no, no, saying... I'm just saying like men is gonna be different. You know, women. They, you know, they try to have this. You know, not try. Women genuinely want niggas to respect them first. That's so right. should I say, right. regardless of what comes after the you can initial have your intent, respect, you can have me. your intent and everything, but just approach me with respect because so many niggas don't know how to do just that simple thing. Exactly. You would be amazed that's, how many times I just all. literally open a but call. No, I, I could why. be more Make with sure the you shits if you were supposed to like, respect but that, was the, but that was the whole point of me asking is yeah. addressing a woman sexually Disrespectful. That's the like. That's why I'm asking that question because, like you said, so many people don't even know how to do that. But again, when we talk about dressed the way you want to be addressed, right? And it's I was, how you do it. Like okay. you can't just walk to me and be like, "Yeah, I'm finna fuck the shit out you." Like I yeah. want to fuck the shit. But he can come to you like, like I ain't gonna lie, you look mad good. Way too fucking much. I would love to fuck the shit out you. But is it a tone? Still, you gotta wait. Is it a body language? It's, it's like, still a little too much. much. But that's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, I do, if you like me, I'm like, listen. I don't even. There are some men that are just. I ain't trying to respect you, yo. Like, you feel me? Like, you mad fine. And like, he <laughs> she tried to She already said, he tried. Right. That's what we're saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 don't, you, don't you feel the same way as a man? Like, you already said that, no, like, these are women of a certain type. If a girl was to jump in your DMs. And I don't feel the same way. You don't feel the it's same way? It's a double standard, and we got to let that live there. So it's wait, so wait, no. He was like, damn, you look good as shit. I want to fuck. You're not gonna take that as disrespect. No, no if anything, I'm gonna be scared. I'm definitely scared. <laughs> <laughs> that's if anything, that's hey, I'm yeah. like, wait, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Why are you trying to give me like, like, yeah, why are you trying to give me is. pussy like this? Like, yeah, like, I, what, I what you even, got that you trying to give me that I don't want? Because why are you trying to give me that? Like, 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 you think you look good? She trying to give you some pussy? Like, all I'm saying is not nah, nah, so. So no, I'm saying I wouldn't <laughs> feel disrespected to answer your question if I felt anything, if anything. It might would be a little weary, like, yeah. all right, hold up. One, who is she following? Is she is it a setup? You know what I'm saying? Definitely a setup. Like, I'm, really, I'm, I'm more so worried. 
I'm more so worried than because that don't happen all the time for men. No, I'm saying, but if it was right. a celebrity check and you saw the blue check, she like because this is different. And she like, yo, I want to lick your asshole, nigga. Like you. First of all, I would never get my asshole licked. <laughs> what? Uh, Jay, well, right. I know we said a lot of eating mean? ass on the show, That's but it's that old women. <laughs> No but I mean, he did say, wait, wait, lit. but I ain't gonna lie, tell me about that. Like, you an old head, though, so I don't know. But, 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 but nah, stars. 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 Nah, stars. I'm good. I'm comfortable with my ass. I gotta say, men like some wild shit. You would be very surprised. But I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, I'm sorry, wait a minute, what? I know I ain't the only one, because when he said, um, if Rico Nasty wanna hit your DM and say she wanna toss your salad, the first thing I thought was her licking your ass, and he was like, yes, for sure. I mean, that's the first thing I thought. Yes. I ain't even hear the rest of that shit. I was just, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's, what said. That's, what I, that's what I meant when she's, cause oh, I oh. asked you to say Yeah, you oh. asked him, you said, you I said, I No, I cut you off two, before two, I even heard that wild ass shit at the end. So no, nah, so, right. but anyway, to ask ain't you the no question. I, I, <laughs> and guess what? I didn't even think nothing man. different of you. See, he the only one that thought of you differently. You I didn't think of you differently. I just thought of eating ass when he said, oh, wow. Yo, God bless you, man. Stars ain't. Letting shit like that happen. Stop <laughs> talking about my ass right, right now. now. <laughs> All right, so listen. Again, yeah. if a celebrity, yeah. bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I'm no, I know I be preaching and shit. I ain't no different than any other nigga. So if, you're if okay I'm single, with getting treated like a number. She just if, gonna look at ass single, and toss you and never talk to you again. Again, nobody will ever <laughs> lick my ass. So, <laughs> yo, yo, this, so what I'm saying is, yeah, this mind you, nah, nah. <laughs> Groceries. Nah, nah. <laughs> oh, you talking about these nasty My, Mind around. you, nah, because I cut it off every time I heard it. You on the other hand, you was. I mean, we kept letting it go. So every. Nah, I ain't never let it go from day from jump. Like, but anyway. Oh my So ask your question. If it's a celebrity, or just your average fine chick on the block, still it's gonna be the same up? response. Whoa, you gonna be ready to go, huh? No, I never said that. No, nah, oh, he said I didn't say that. Weary. What's the response, Jay? He I said, said weary. I would what be is weary. the response? I don't know. I would have to Being look. weary is an emotion. That's not a verbal Bro, the response <laughs> comes from the emotion that I feel. So again, if it DMs me, there's a lot of things that have to go in place. I'm not, again, we asked the ladies, they said automatically no, right? Yeah, like I'm not. Buffy said, reply. Buffy said, if I like her, I might, if I like him, I might entertain the conversation. And I'm telling you that. Bro, at that moment, I got to do a lot of things. I got to go see who you follow. I got to see if, if somebody hacking her account. I got to see if anybody else got the DM for, from her because, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could be a, a mass mistake. You know, the Instagram shit. I got to look at a lot of things. Then I got to be like, all right, bet. I want so to... And who, who fucked this bitch? Is she burning? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to ask all these questions. Okay, so so let, if all the checks are good, what you reply? Yeah, I'm definitely... Yeah, when? When me and baby. <laughs> when? Yeah, if I'm single, yeah, when? When? <laughs> Where you at? You say you want to do that so to me? So all that. This nigga told you you got to yes. investigate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. You got to so investigate right. all the freak so, so you come talk, so right. you, you right. never, We do whole facts all the time. I, if, yo, if I get some wild shit, I'm saying straight to the DM like, yo, yeah, bro. Who like, know this? You know who know her? Know her? Anybody, Anybody know her? Like, what's good? You know what I mean? Like, and if you do know her, was it good? Like. I'm saying like I wasn't. You feel me? Like that's just what it is. That's crazy because I don't think I've ever done that with like my group of girlfriends. I have. Because y'all be judging. Shit. If I may, I've never. I done have. That my home girl sent me pictures. Like you know him, him. girl. That's he's so and so from around. Yo, we definitely. Yeah. I'm definitely sending I a picture. I feel like yeah, girl. That's a like, C. Go ahead, fine. I'm so, definitely sending. Let me ask you, who's in the group chat? What? <laughs> oh, he's kind of. Oh, so now the walls. I got group chat full of niggas that. Or him? I'm talking about him. I got a group chat with like like a couple niggas I know be young man get bitched. Maybe out here. So, uh, yeah, you so. gotta. It's my niggas. You got my niggas. Bitch but it's them you niggas. You gotta get bitches group chat. He Jay, got I mean, check. you know, we ain't gonna, I mean, do you want to be in the chat? Wait, I ain't even say. Ah! Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh. I mean, do you want to be in this chat? Like, you see the vibes? You feel me? Yeah. We can fit, we can set it up later. But no, I think it's. I mean, you know, it's just <laughs> niggas and women being women. Y'all do send niggas. That, that, I mean, you know, I've had my like, I've had my women. friends send me like, um, have you seen him before? Because I feel like we've never seen him before. I'm like, That's why, like, you you saying that right now? But really, I'll be like, who? Anybody? This nigga wild nigga. This nigga he got some money. Uh, this nigga is he a freak ball? Like, you know, I drive to see. That's like, like yeah, and you said they hire and hire and mm -hmm. fuck this person and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna let you know, yeah. if you my homegirl and you sending me somebody, yeah. I'm gonna give you the rundown. Don't nigga like me, I ain't gonna get your group check. I, I need to be able to send some nah. over to make nigga sure like me. Girl, <laughs> girl, <laughs> like, yeah, bro. Oh, I'm girl girl media. Media. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that to no other female. It's girl cold. over there. Yeah. I nah, thought we man, was all I protecting each other. Mm -mm. I guess it's not. No protection for niggas. No, nah, no protection. But I definitely want to say I appreciate you ladies for pulling up on the show. Okay. Yeah, you guys can just plug what you guys are doing and like how people can follow you and all that other mm -hmm. fancy shit. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Levon XO, L E V O N X O. And you can follow me on Twitter at Levon XO underscore. 
And, you know, right now I'm going through some major changes. I'm trying to, like, move back to L.A. next summer and also trying to um, work on finding my sound when it comes to music. I haven't dropped music in a while, but I do have music on Apple Music. You can find me. Just search Levon. And, um, yeah. And I am Buffy. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Buffy the Beauty with two Ys. Um, you can follow me on YouTube at Buffy the Beauty as well and BB Music. Um, and I do massages too, so follow the skin dot co. Great yeah, I got, I got, got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So the yeah. only person to give me my very I come to you as well. I'm a traveling massage therapist, so y'all can book me for that too. So fellas, you saying come correct? You know what I'm saying? I'm coming at the end of that vibe. <laughs> no, I get, no, you might if she like you, you probably can come in there. You like know what? Oh <laughs> Levon ain't happening. Ain't happening. But she I don't want to say you fuck Chris Brown if you try coming. Right? No. <laughs> Chris Brown probably gonna watch this. Like damn, if he ever was to watch this, he probably look at this like. That's go, that's gonna be the now is you gonna have more niggas coming your DMs doing that because they gonna want to prove themselves like nah man she gonna she gonna do it for me but nah. but, but definitely check out these young true. ladies music um, mm-hmm. they definitely got some dope stuff yo and um, make sure you uh yeah. subscribe to the YouTube channel uh like comment share all that funny shit that people be saying yep. definitely appreciate you guys episode sixty nine the freaky one um Mr. Really calling it the freaky though. one we ain't get freaky we ain't get freaky we had a lot of great co- I love this conversation I really and it, it, it ain't the most um. You know, negative and all that, but it was great conversation. I think, I think it was purposeful. We uh, strive for great conversation, yeah. no matter what the clips look like. We all want to have a good conversation. <laughs> Facts. That's what purpose. I walked in here. JS want to supply in my guy stars. Uh, episode sixty nine. They really might not like this podcast, but I mean, <laughs> Gemini Scorpio. Anyway, yeah. free Sade. <laughs> <laughs> so right, we out. <laughs>